Hey there, everybody. Jesse here. Uh, we are actually going to be streaming a game today. This is the first stream since I got my new PC set up. So here's to hoping that we don't have any technical glitches and like, you know, we can hear everybody's audio and, you know, things go smoothly. Um, we shall see. Um, but first and foremost, let me welcome my opponent. So Jim, say hi to everybody. Hey, how you doing, everyone? Cool. So Jim and I are actually yeah. doing a little bit of prep for some upcoming events that we have. So um, we're playing a little bit more kind of on the rails, uh, serious lists, so to speak. Um, I am going to be running Ma Tucket and I'll just go ahead and actually, you know what, let me go over the pool before I do that. So we are, we are, of course, playing a game on, <clears throat> excuse me, on Vassal today. The uh, encounter is going to be Carve a Path in Corner Deployment. Schemes are going to be In Your Face, Assassinate, Load Them Up, Public Demonstration, and Vendetta. Pretty varied pool of schemes. Um, Jim and I are both pretty happy with it, so thanks to the Malifaux app for putting together kind of an interesting pool for us. I didn't do any tailoring of it at all. <clears throat> um, my crew is going to be Ma Tucket, the OG, uh, Ma Tucket 1. I did take Inferiority Complex on her. I also have, of course, the Little Lass. I also took Gracie with Inferiority Complex, Big Brain, Bryn, Bo Peep, and three Bushwhackers. A very, very typical crew for me. This is something that, I mean, really, I've been running since 3rd Edition launched, uh, with the exception of, of Bo Peep. Uh, and I haven't actually took, taken Gracie in quite some time. Um, I wonder why I did that. I have uh, a lot of high willpower models, and Jim, why don't you tell everybody why that might be? <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm running Pandora today. Uh, I'm running Tyrant Torn Pandora. I've got Candy, obviously, uh, Poltergeist. I'm running Dorian Crow, and then I'm running two Aversions with Ancient Pact and two Sorrows, and a, a healthy nine Soulstone Cash. <clears throat> yeah, I, I forgot to mention I'm running a five Soulstone Cash. Um, this is actually the first time that I have ever played against Pandora Tyrant Torn. So I expect it to be a learning experience for me, <laughs> to say the least. Um, my original plan uh, when I was building the list was that I was thinking I was going to get another angler game in. Uh, and I was going to try out Ballyhoo Bucket because I thought that it would be a good pick for um, this particular encounter. And uh, aside from some potential kidnapping uh, that he could do with Candy, uh, that probably would have been a better pick. Um, second pick was to do Ma Tucket with all of the jockeys, just for funsies, uh, but they're all like Willpower 4, so probably not a great idea. Uh, instead, I decided for a, a, like I said, a very on-the-rails Ma Tucket crew, kind of shake the dust mm -hmm. off. I actually, I've gotten probably a bazillion games in with crews similar to this, but I'll be honest, I have not played Ma Tucket 1 in probably, geez, um, over a year. I've been playing just a lot of other stuff, so let's see. Let's mm -hmm. hope I haven't forgotten how to actually run the crew. Well, I, I've I've had my time with Ma, so I'll do my best to try and help you remember <laughs> bits. Um, and I will do my best to warn you before any gotchas happen with Pandora, because her crew does have a few. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I played a lot of I played a lot against Pandora one because one of my locals, Adam, uh, and you know. Um, it, occasional mm -hmm. podcast host uh, played a lot of Pandora, uh, especially, you know, just before he kind of took a break from Malifaux. He was running her a whole heck of a lot. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with most of the crew. Um, I guess, are there any watch outs that you would just call out right at the start for any new players that haven't played against Tyrant Torn uh, in particular? Uh, main thing I would have is that she does have that lovely combination of Luck Thief with um, Heed No Fear, it used to be that you could put adversary on her and be on permanent negatives against her. <laughs> doesn't exist anymore. But she does have the ability to heal up if you miss her. So with all the hand tacks that the crew can put on you, be sure when you attack her to be attacking her at stat advantage and with card backup. Cause if you miss and she heals too, you've just undone work that you've put in and be careful about friendly conditions because she can, without your 
um, input, swap it to something that's not good for you if you're within range of her bonus. And I'm sure that will come up at some point today. Oh, I'm sure. This crew does like to play with focus. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll just have to make sure I use it up, you know, quickly-ish. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Cool. And I'm not going to bother going over Ma Tucket because you've played against Ma Tucket before. You know Ma Tucket. She's been around for a long time. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the crew that I took is also one that really heavily utilizes uh, pit traps. And you have officially two models in your whole crew that they're actually going to work against. So Correct. that'll be fun. Um, probably should have taken gluttony so that I could actually utilize the pit traps in some form or fashion, but that's okay. I didn't. And we're just going to have to shoot. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so I guess we have to put out some strategy markers, don't we? We do starting with attacker. Um, I think I believe so, but let me check, uh, starting yeah, with defending the player. Oh, defending player. Um, okay, cool. We have some uh, strategy markers. But first, um, we have to know deployment zones. I'm going to be taking top left. Okay, okay. Top left it is. Pretty good pick for and an incorporeal crew. Yeah, and that's kind of the this, idea. Uh, let's talk about terrain here as well. So um, I, I would assume that the building we're going to play as enclosed. You can't stand on top of it. Um, walls, of course, are height five, uh, blocking mm -hmm. impassable. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the stairways, are we saying that like the little railings on the side are part of the the movable portion, or are those going to be blocking impassable like the walls, and we're just using like the the boards as the movable? Uh, area? I would say that the boards are the movable areas. A fifty okay. can fit through all of these, so we are good for that. Sounds good. Other than that, we've just got some pretty typical terrain. We've got a bunch of forests. I would say the boxes would probably count as destructible. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, boxes and barrels, um, so on yes. and so forth. Uh, nothing else really looks too weird or squirrely to me. Anything you wanted to clarify before we get going? Uh, train tracks are aesthetic only. Yes, aesthetic only, not severe. That would be awful. That would be awful. Really, really, really <laughs> awful. Okay, cool. Um, I can dig it. Uh, I guess I'm going to be starting with the strategy markers. So let's see here. They go uh, my half of the table, 10 inches away from each other, and mm -hmm. the center line. Okay. So we're going to put up some handy dandy auras. I am going to go ahead and stick one of them. Here ish while I shimmy it into position. All right. Cool. I will go ahead and actually gonna get this one out of the way. We'll go ahead and put one right there. Okie doke. Um I am let's see here. I think I think the move is I'm gonna put one cool I'll put the other one right there and this one will go <clears throat> Right there. Okay. Cool beans. Cool. Now we will deploy. I have split my crew into my incorp and my, well, I my ghosts and my not ghosts. Okay. Um, I will have you do the not ghosts. <clears throat> Understandable. So we are going to. Have a Pandora. And I'm gonna have a candy. My mic and go blow my nose because I keep coughing. Mm -hmm. Terrible. So you do your deployment. I'll be right back. And our deployment is done. <laughs> Just that quick.
Hey, Nick, how you doing? Much you play much uh Pandora too? I am. Um I have not lately, but I have been of the Pandoras really enjoying Pandora too. Yourself? Any games in nowadays. Mm. Fair. Exactly. No, she just she does a lot of things that the crew appreciates. Um, I I've never been the biggest fan of self loathing because of how variable it is, and weight of despair just does. It's not the greatest damage, but you know it. It's it's got stunned on a stick at ten inches. That seems really um, spammable, which is you know good or bad. I feel it's pretty good. And putting up hazardous auras on enemy models not going to be super relevant here because of how spread out I expect Ma to be. But uh, um, there are some games where you get enemy bubble crews and you put new shelter here up and it's just you know death by a thousand cuts uh oh Jesse's back can't keep giving out my secrets keep talking um, lots and lots of tech um, <laughs> for all the good it's gonna do me Ooh, boy this is gonna mm -hmm. be quite a doozy of a game okay so let's see here. All right. <clears throat> so you have the non ghost bubble right back over there. I am going to reserve, of course, all three of my bushwhackers for deployment uh, mm -hmm. at a later date. Understandable. I'm going to put Miss Mottucket right about here. We'll put Miss Gracie Girl right about there. We're going to put. about there we're gonna put last right about there there we go okay seems good so we got to put the rest of our pieces in so i'm going to um i'm gonna put sorrow there a version one there We'll put Poltergeist right here. Actually, Poltergeist right here. Because Poltergeist is a tall lad, I should be able to see Dorian. Dorian wants to see everyone in six of him. He currently can. And wouldn't you know it, there should be just... I uh, have to wiggle it a bit, but I should have enough space for all of my friends here. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, after deployment, I have to put out my uh, four pit traps. So we are going to... Excuse me. Put one right here. We are going to put one. We're going to put one here, and we're going to put one 
here and we're going to put one basically make sure right there okay <clears throat> okay rude but understandable um so i'll go ahead and turn off the deployment lines clear moved and okay i dare uh, say we should be all set i just have to do my start of game effect for the bushwhackers uh, and confirm your schemes and confirm schemes yeah that'd be good deploy And for reasons, is Dorian a henchman? No, he's Dorian not. is an enforcer. Okay, for reasons. only in henchman is candy my only master is pandora your only master is mataka and your two henchmen are bo peep and big brain brin hmm Okay, schemes are selected. Um, just don't look at the stream while I pull mine out. I will not <laughs> look at the screen. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. So we are doing scenario schemes, GG3. We are doing, just move these down here so I can grab them. And what's the other one? All righty. Bring that down, <clears throat> and I am ready to go. So I'm going to do my uh, bushwhacker deployments. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to do one of them. Let's see here. So basically, I'm doing like that. Here, we're going to put one of them right there, and we're going to put one of them right about. <clears throat> there 
All okay. right. Um, not to uh, be funny, just as a reminder. Yeah, I can't interact first time with them. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I, that has gotten me before. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, bushwhackers are de are deployed. Do you have any other starting game effects? I do not. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle. Draw seven cards. I love Brim. Oh, there's a new deck. This is the first time I've played with this version of the Vassal module. Uh, Real talk. It's the first time I have as well. And yeah, this is actually pretty pretty nice. That's pretty swanky. Um. All right, just try and think about what I need. Do I need to stone? Uh, well, I guess I would ask you, do you need to stone? Because you need to <laughs> That is correct. It would be my choice to stone. And as it is turn one, I think I will pass on stoning. Even Mr. Fucking Nine Stones over here. All right, sure. <laughs> All right, uh, I am also not going to stone. Um, so we can mm -hmm. go ahead and flip for initiative. I'll have plus one from ill omens. I will have plus two from my ill omens. And I have a one. I have and you have a three. A three. Um, you know. Are you going to? I don't think I will. Okay. Um, nor will I. I will take the ram, which is going to give me two pass tokens. Nice. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight models to your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight models. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and let you go first. Well, thank you very much. So. I am going to begin with my good friend, the Poltergeist. The Poltergeist is going to uh, walk to about here mm -hmm. and is going to slam these boxes. Okay. Get out of here. Good move. And that is it. Cool. Oh. Um. They changed the key binding for turn changing uh, activation aura. Whoops. Oh, what is it now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called before? It was just A, and it had like that little glowy ring on it. Um. Um. Next oh, marker or Z. Yes. Yes. Z, okay. Z. Okay. So I'll just do neat. Okay, that that works. All right, cool. I'm not picky about my color. Um, okay, uh, we are going to open up with Bo Peep. Surprise, surprise. Um, mm -hmm. Bo Peep is going to um, what do you call it? The race is on, uh, mm -hmm. which she is going to need a seven four, if I recall correctly. That's correct. Uh, I did get it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the thing. Um, Bo Peep is going to push a whopping five. Um, the mark you can; these are just concealing markers, right? You can like walk over them and stuff. That is correct. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I am going to do the rest of my models mm -hmm. in order of my choosing. One, two, three. We're going to go. One, two, three, and evidently I did not do my math right on my Bushwhacker deployments, which is pretty cool. Um, we're going to go one, two, three with Gracie, and we're going to go one, two, three with Little Lass. Uh, Bo Peep is going to kick the can. Mm -hmm. So it goes, what, six inches? Six inches for yours. Okay. We're going to kick it straight to here. We're going to get... Oops, not cloned. We're going to delete those. Oops. We're going to undo that little shimmy that I just did. Turn off the aura. Um, Bo Peep is going to Reckless. And then she is going to go one, two, three, four, five five six to here and she's done okay we will go ahead and did i make sure 
Okay, I do thread the needle. Sorrow can see Dorian. So Dorian will activate. He is going to lose interest. I need a four. That is a four. All, this model and friendly unengaged models within range, which is pulse six, can may each move up to two. So one, two. Uh, can you get through a version? Maybe not. No. So a version will just go um, hang out here. <clears throat> Candy. Sorrow. Aversion. Pandora. Dorian. All right, Dorian is going to declare a charge. Okay. He's going to go one, two, three, and a half to here. Mm -hmm. He is going to put his cigarette holder out on Candy, who relents. Um, and it goes off because there's no target number. Happy okay. days. Um, she gains... Oh no, the conditions again. Uh, burning is S. Oh, did they change the condition shortcuts too? They sure did. Oh boy. That's okay. I hadn't even learned the old ones completely. Uh, oh, now they have like generic... So mm -hmm. One, two, and three, though. That's handy. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do that. And then I will do my last action, which is disapproving glance at Candy. And when I do, I will use opportunist distracted to remove her distracted to get a positive on this. She relents. I need a five. And hey, I get it. Um, I don't care for any triggers. Candy will move up to four inches towards a marker in her line of sight. One, two, three, four. Towards that pit trap. And that'll be Dorian done. So, little side note, as I'm perusing some of the enhancements to the new Vassal module, um, mm -hmm. whoever, uh, whatever people worked on putting this together, I cannot tell you how thankful I am that you put the raise X condition and lower X condition right next to each other in the menu, because that's going to make it a bazillion times easier for me since I can never remember the shortcuts. Thanks. Yeah. A plus work, team. A plus work. All right. Uh, Bryn's going to go. Uh, he is going to intuition. Do, do, do. Uh, he is going to put that back there, that back there, and that back there. Uh, he is going to take a walk action. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, you know what? I should have done my I should have done my activity. Excuse me, my activation yeah, order differently, but that's okay. Oof. Um, let's again shaking the rust off the old ma. Should have gone with little last first so that I could holler a holler in him, put him in position, mm -hmm. and then use one of his AP to drop a scheme marker to pick up to obey the bushwhacker. Now I can't do that. Um, Big brain Bryn is going to walk one, two, three, four, five to here. Um, mm -hmm. he is going to calculate the possibilities, uh, which imagine that he got off. Uh, I'm going to discard the top 10. One, I'm going to draw 10 cards. We are going to put all of those into the discard pile. And we are going to draw a couple of specific cards. We're going to do that one. We're going to do that one. And holy crap, that was a good calculate. Wow. <laughs> I'm so glad it happened this turn. Holy shit balls. So just for the for you, Jim, just so you can see mm -hmm. this, I discarded a three, a, a three, a five, a 12, a black joker, a one, a three, a six, a seven, a two, and a two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you have crap. like no weeks left. I dig it. Yep. Uh, we are going to send back to the fate deck a 12 mask, a 12 tome, and a 10 tome. We are going to shuffle, shuffle. We are going to draw a card, and then I'm going to discard because I am over max hand size. So mm -hmm. we are going to get rid of 
this because I think that's probably the least useful. Um, Bryn is not going to use his bonus action and he's done. Okay. I'm going to activate Sorrow number two. Mm -hmm. Sorrow number two is going to use Glimpse of Insanity on the Poltergeist who's going to relent. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't you know it, the Poltergeist is now stunned. Which is... I think it's R. What? I think it's R. It is. Okay. Then the Sorrow is just going to walk. One, two, three. And kick a marker. And that is a Sorrow done. Okay. Um, little Lass is going to go. Um, she is going to horrible hollering on Ma Tucket, who is going to relent. Um, Ma is going to, or La Little Lass is going to flip a card. It's high enough. That's going to push Ma up. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, four. Uh, you know what? We're basically just going to shimmy. Mm -hmm. to like here that way i don't block my own move lanes and i can still do some pulsing um mm -hmm. little lass is going to i guess i could do it on grace girl um yeah i think that's probably what we're gonna do um Little Lass is going to horrible hollering on Gracie, who is also going to relent. Uh, it does not go off that time. I can't remember what I need to hit my target number, so I'm going to go check it. I want to say seven. Yeah, it's a seven. Yep. Um, that's funny. Uh, I, I'm actually going to let that fail. Uh, <laughs> and Little Lass is done. She's not going to bonus. Mm, okay. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and have uh, version number two activate. Version number two is going to use Frightening Reminder and Ooga Booga the Sorrow. Okay. Um, that is not sufficiently scary. That is sufficiently scary. So one, two, three, four away. The, sor uh, the aversion is then going to go um, one, two, three, four five one two three four five and hang out right here they're done and then because of nefarious pact i draw a card how about that okay um ma tucket is going to activate um she is first and foremost going to attempt to make a pit trap uh, i believe she needs a six for that to go on I want to say four. It needs a six. No, you you are correct. It's it a six. six. Okay, we're flipping. Uh, we sure did get it. Uh, I am actually going to cheat in this six tome so I can get good for a laugh. However, mm -hmm. um, we are going to put that pit trap. Uh, we're actually going to put it right back there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to hit my good for a laugh trigger, draw two, discard two, and I'm going to discard that four and that four, and then we are going to horrible hollering. Uh, I'm going to target. I'm going to target Gracie. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, actually, I could target. In. that might be how close do you have to be to interact with these strategy markers i can't even one inch within an inch okay so basically if i and you can do it while engaged yeah so basically if i put him there he can still get the focus for what it matters and then he can interact with that next turn which is okay by me uh, or I can just say, fuck it, and I don't care about that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to holler, holler in on Bryn. I'm um, going to be looking for, I believe, a six. 
as I recall. Uh, needs a five, actually. How about that? Mm. Um, looking for a five. I'm not going to stone for anything. I uh, got a one, which is very exciting. Uh, mm -hmm. I am going to cheat in this 10 ram for the creative custom trigger. Um, Bryn is going to push five, one, two, three, four, five, two right there. Um, and then we are, let's see here. We're going to push this bushwhacker one, two to here. We're going to push this bushwhacker. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three. Actually, you know what? We don't push any bushwhackers because that's not how Hallerbahalaran works. We push one model and then we give out focus. Mm. So I'm going to fix what I just did because that was cheating. All right. Uh, I don't know. I didn't actually push that model, did I? Yeah, I swear I did. I got to undo some stuff here. Uh, I think... I think just push it like back three towards where you think it was is fine. Yeah, I don't know. It's not doing the undo like I th like I expect it to. Yeah, I'm um, not too fussed. I'm pretty sure it was there-ish. Um, mm -hmm. Close enough. Okay. So everybody in there is going to gain some focus, but I have to check and see what the condition for that is. That's going to be, 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 be Q. Uh, that's going to get focus. 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 Um, Ma Tucket herself is going to take a walk. Uh, that's going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, two right about there. Mm -hmm. um, and then she is going to. She's going to horrible hollering on. Um, we're going to do it on. Bo Peep, uh, who okay. is going to relent. Uh, that's going to go off. Bo Peep is going to push. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, two right about there. Uh, and then that's going to be it. Ma's going to gain a focus for her inferiority complex, and she's done. Okay. Um, you have Gracie and your Bushwhackers left, yeah? Yes, and actually I should probably be marking my activations because that's okay. how I played this game. No, uh, you're fine. Uh, yeah. We're going to activate this Sorrow. That Sorrow is going to kick a marker. Ba -dunk. And I think if I go here, I clip. Okay, clip both of them. I totally yeah. forgot that you destroyed so, markers with that. Uh, boop. Thanks for putting them back on my side instead of just deleting them. That was considerate of you. I try. And then the sorrow is just going to walk and go one, two, three, four, and be right in this corner. Okay. Sounds good. Over to you. All righty. Um, we are, let's see here, we're going to take this bushwhacker down here and we're going to walk, um, we're going to walk, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and we are going to focus mm -hmm. and we are going to create a pit trap. Mm hmm which goes off. Uh, we're going to put it right about there. And that bushwhacker's done. All right. And it'd be tricky for Gracie to get to me where she is. The bushwhackers are what scare me because they have, I've seen bushwhackers do some serious work. Oh, uh, they do horrific shit. Um, we're going to go with the other aversion. And the other aversion is going to walk. One, two, three, four, five. And is going to Ooga Booga Pandora. Okay. I know that's not the technical term. I just, I, it, I don't know, it rolls off the tongue. Yeah, it does, for sure. Also fails. So I will cheat for it to go off. So Pandora will go one, two, three, four. And then the aversion. Whoa. 
will be dragged a little bit by accident. And then I will walk it one, two, three, four, five to here. And then I will draw a card for Nefarious Pact. Okay. Um, I'll use Pasto. Yeah. Yeah. So the only safe thing to do here is to activate Candy now. And Candy is going to walk. One, two, three, four, five to here. So she's in the, mm -hmm. got the cover of the building. And we're going to kick this marker to here and get rid of your pit trap. Okay. And that is a candy done. Okay. I'm going to use pass over. All right. So Pandora, naturally, is what's left. Um, Pandora, ah, I was so close. Um, well, I'm silly. Okay. I can get to here and then have line of sight on Bryn that doesn't go through the concealing strategy marker. That's smart. Pandora will walk. One, two, three. Uh, she'll, she'll go to here and, and just tuck her base in here so she gets cover. I think you actually do you ignore cover with the bushwhackers. Yes. You do. So it doesn't matter. So instead, I'm going to walk one, two, three, four, five. No, because I have to go here because I don't want to draw a line of sight through the concealing terrain marker. Oh, that's on me. Uh, but I am with Nintendo Brin. That's the important. Pandora is going to attempt weight of despair on Brin. This is stat six on Brin's willpower. Okay. I have a 13. Um, he's serene continence. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. You can, well, I mean, if you need to change your no, nope. that's fine. Uh, I am on a 13 on a negative. Okay. Because that's on me. Okay, he's at an 18. Yep, I miss. So I am just going to concentrate. There we go. And then I will compound emotions, needing a 6. That is not a 6. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll cheat this in. So, and a condition on up to two models in Pulse 6, then each model that had a condition ended gains a condition of my choice, the value of plus one, if any, and the conditions can't be the same. So Candy is going to lose her burning. Shift S and gain fast. The Poltergeist is going to lose stunned and gained focused. And Pandora is done, and then because she has Nefarious Pact, I draw a card. How about that? So, board is yours. Okay. Um, so, I've just got the two Bushwhackers left. Um, this Bushwhacker is going to go basically one, two, three, four, five to here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to see what I can see. Um, let's see here. So, where's my auras? Uh, we're looking at control alt four and that's control shift four so that doesn't actually do anything control alt four okay so that's what i've got um let's see here so how tall are the markers no, um five. conceal uh so it doesn't specify a height for the marker. And my understanding is that with concealing, it doesn't have a, there's no height oh. a pro thing for it. Just if you go through concealing. Oh, all right. Fair cover enough. cares about a height because of shadow and stuff. And if I'm wrong, please correct me in the, uh, on the comments on the YouTubes. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I have, Looks like I should have, if I basically just shift my move a little bit, I should just be able to go basically straight up and 
and this is why I should clone models before I. Here, here, let me get do a favor for you. Uh, uh, that's a good way to do it. Uh, as long as you're not over the orange line, you'll have a line of sight that doesn't go through the strap mark. Okay, I can go to basically there, which is fine. Yeah. Okay. So I'll get rid of this guy and the uh, what do you call it? The luck thief thing. Mm -hmm. um, let me just review this here. Oh, it's dual sand damage flip, so there's literally no reason to use focus shooting her whatsoever. Okay, so Correct. I'm just going to shoot Pandora with no focus. Okay. Okay. I will choose to give myself a plus flip to my defense duel with Aspect of Fortune. Aspect of Fortune, all right. Uh, yeah, I flipped a one. I'm at a 17. And I don't really think I care that much. So let me just take a look. You're at a 17, you said? I am. Hmm. Well, I kind of screwed myself there. Oh, that's what I should have done. Oh, no. Okay. Well, again, live and learn. So mm -hmm. we are... Do I want to roll to do that? No, I'm just going to let it fail. It's fine. Don't need it. I heal too. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Um, that activation's done. Uh, I will try and create a pit trap, as you do. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, can I even do that? Because I can't put it on top of the terrain, because I can't touch terrain since it's create. And mm -hmm. I would have to be in, ed I would have to be like basically in edge contact with the edge of the train if I was going to put it on the ground. So I'm not going to bother because it won't do anything. I literally can't place a pit trap where I'm standing right now. Um, okay, uh, Bushwhacker number two uh, is going to go one, two, three, four, five, two, right about there. Um, we will go ahead and take a shot at Candy. Uh, I will go All ahead right. and use my focus on this one because I can do that. Mm -hmm. um, Candy is manipulated, but she already activated, so we're good there. And yep. focus shoot, go. Actually, before I yeah. do this, hold on. Oh, I was going to say I have to make a pit trap first. It's very important. So I'm okay. going to make a pit trap first, uh, which I do get. Okay. And that is going to put a pit trap basically here because I need it in case I get a clever ruse trigger. Okay, now I'm going to shoot. Mm -hmm. All right. I have a 14. Okay. Uh, I'm at a 16 with a crit strike. You know, I am not going to cheat. Okay. So 14 to uh, 16 is a negative flip. Goes back to straight because of focus. I will stone you to a negative. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, it's going to be weak for three. I will stone to prevent. Two, I take one. Take one. Okay. Uh, Bushwhackers, focus is gone. I'll put down the aura and what's raised distracted. Raised distracted is shift Q. And that's done. Uh, I will go ahead and go with Gracie, which I probably should have done beforehand. Uh, Gracie can trundle. Not, 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 not. Okay. Uh, to right about there. Uh, what's the range on? Yeah, right with me is two inches. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm outside of two inches. That's so sad. That's okay. Um, we are going to trundle over again. Uh, one, two, three, three, four. Uh, basically keeping Ma just within... Mm -hmm two inches and then we are going to ride with me on ma tuck it mm -hmm. uh definitely getting it no tome that's fine uh i am going to push one two three four five to right about here 
And then Ma Tucket is going to get placed into base contact with me. Uh, we're going to put her right here. Seems good. And that's Gracie. And we're done. All right. Um, with that, uh, clear moved. I do not have any end of turn shenanigans. Okay. What's the clear move hotkey? Um, it's the button at the top right. It's not even a hotkey. It just says like paw prints. Oh, look at that. All right. Shuffle, shuffle, it's not, uh, shuffle. It's not getting rid of my markers. And I'm going to just double check my various TNs. Hmm, that's weird. The clear move didn't get rid of my um, didn't get rid of my markers. Oh no. Right. I can just do it manually. Um, I'm going to discard. What? That was weird. Right. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Right. We're going to send those to the fate deck. We're going to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. We are going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to Six. get rid. That's getting kind of greedy. I'm going to hold on to that because I can use it for stuff. And mm -hmm. I'm going to shuffle, shuffle. I'm going to draw four cards. Okay. All right. And I went first. I went to stone first. I will choose to stone for cards. Take a look, good, hard look at my hand. And I would discard a one of tomes and a two of tomes. That doesn't really do much of anything. Um, I'm going to hold on to this hand. Yeah, I'm okay, okay. with it. Okay. Um, and then initiative. You've got initiative. plus two. I've got plus one. Yes. So rarely do I play against other crews with ill omens. It's so rare. Uh, I could have... Oh, oh. <laughs> exactly the same card, too. Oh, boy. I guess you're going first. Um, you know, I think I will elect to go first. You do get to uh, draw two cards, though. Yeah, I do, which I am definitely going to do. Uh, well, actually, hold on. Am I going to do the draw two, or do I want a different suit? No, I don't want to give shielded, because you'll just turn it into badness. So, okay. I'm going to draw two. Okay. And I am going to discard that, and I am going to discard one other card. I think I'm going to go with that. Okay. Well, um, if you guessed going with Pandora first, You'd be correct. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Um, I am not within Brand's cancel my triggers aura, which is important. You should definitely walk into that first. I I hear what you're saying, and um, it, it's I like the I like the spirit behind it, but um, I'm going to pass. Okay. Uh, gonna what pass. we're going? Pass. No. Uh, my words. Um, <laughs> you don't have fast tokens, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. So Pandora will activate first. Sure. And what I would like for her to do is start with um which of these do I start with? Because I have yeah, we're going to start with Compounding emotions. Sure. I need a six. Uh, that is not a six. I'm going to cheat in Ten of Masks, which is going to proc Scamper on Ma. Mm -hmm. But first, um, I declare Toxic Family, okay. which heals Friendly Woes in Pulse 6 of Me 2. So mm -hmm. Candy heals 2. Mm -hmm. Back to full. I'm going to end Ma's Focused, uh, and I'm going okay. to go ahead and stun her. And then I'm going to end Gracie's focused, and I'm going to stagger her. Okay. Now you may scamper. Thanks. 
Mhm. I am going to spend my focused. If I need, I do not need to. I'm going to spend. I'm going to target Gracie with weight of despair. Eh, yeah, I'll spend my focus on this. Okay. So, um, weight of despair. That's six on your willpower. Okay. I currently have a 13. All right, let me just take a quick little look, see at what we got here. One, three, four, and stunned. Uh, do not have stunned currently, so I don't take plus mm -hmm. damage. And then you're currently hitting the touch of madness to make me discard a random card. card. Okay. Um, well, I think we are going to try and get out of this one because that ain't great. Um, we are... What do I actually need my cards for? Um, we are going to go with... Uh, that one sucks. six all right well we really don't want this to happen so i guess we're gonna go all the way up to the top we'll go to a 19 going to a 19 mm. well i will meet you at a 19 okay you got the table. it'll be a single negative but no trigger this time yeah uh, that'll be moderate of three damage which is one with arm you'll gain stunned there's no one with misery who can see you so you do not suffer misery damage yep um now I'm going to go ahead and use woe is me on. So this is going to be a tactical action needing a nine of masks to go off. Sure. Um, and does not go with, go off, but I'll cheat that for it to go off. I get to summon a, a woe minion mm -hmm. in base contact with you. Mm hmm. I am not declaring lingering fears because there's no poltergeist near you. And instead, we're going to... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and summon a sorrow. We'll put that bad boy right there with his life leech aura. That guy comes in slow. And then... I guess my last trick is going to be a no shelter here on Gracie. This okay. is going to be stat six on your willpower. Sure. I have, hey. It's pretty good. Uh, you got that. All right. Um, so that is going to be a 19. There's no target, uh, no trigger here. So push the target four inches in any direction, ignoring other models. Until the end phase, enemy models other than the target treat the area within two, R2 of the target as hazardous. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to go um, one, two, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four to here. Okay. And... Um, with that done, that's going to be Pandora done, and she will draw a card for a Nefarious Pack. Okay, sounds good. All right, so we've got that guy doing that guy's okay. stuff, which ain't great. Um... All right, I th think that, what's the aura for the no shelter here? Two inches? Mm -hmm. Okay. Currently only Bryn's in it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, I th think, what is the best move here? 
That won't really do much of anything. Okay. So I think, what does that look like? That looks like that. All right. I th hmm. So Bryn activates. He takes a damage from yes. the sorrow and then he takes another damage from whatever he does within the hazardous aura mm -hmm. and that ain't great i could do that which wouldn't be super horrible the life leech are is what three inches four four inches jesus 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 yep. All right. And Bracey is a whopping move too, which is very exciting for her. Mm -hmm. Um can't reckless, can't ride with me. Yeah, this is this is going well. All right. So I think that what we're gonna do instead is I think that that doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot. So that's a freaking four inch aura, huh? It is. All right. So if I were to say go like that, that might be the move. I'm sure there's probably a way that you can move it back. So, okay. So I th think that, oh, I can't even fucking move Gracie. Oh my mother. All right. So in that case, basically that doesn't do crap all for me. Let me just check one quick thing on my dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, that seems a damn shame, but I think it might be what I end up having to do. Okay. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with Bryn. So he's going to take a life leech. You don't actually gain anything because you're not damaged. Mm -hmm. um, Bryn is going to uh, walk one, two, three. Uh, that's a two inch aura. Uh, yeah, Bryn's going to basically walk to right here which is going to mm -hmm. make him take another ping of damage. Um, mm -hmm. Now he's outside of the hazardous aura. He is going to sober up on Ma Tucket. Okay. Um, that is an attack, and you are drawing through the concealing marker. Oh, that's true. So I would suggest if you wanted to... Move to that's fine. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, that's fine. So he's just going to basically move more. We're still going to stay within an inch of the marker for future purposes. And now that should give me a clear line of sight to Ma. So I'm going to sober up. Um, she is, let's see here. I'm not going to stone for any suits. And Oh, I have to intuition. That'd be good. Kind of an important. Oh, yeah. Thing. Yeah, that'd be kind of an important thing. Um. We are going to put that there. We're going to put that there. And we're going to put that there. Oh, does that actually work? No, it doesn't work. That just 
so in that case, I think that what we're going to do is we're going to put that there. We're going to put that there and we're going to put that there. Okay. Um, we're going to do the sober up on Ma. Hey, look at that. It went off. Uh, we're going to get rid of the stunned and we're going to give her a focus as well. Okay. Uh, and then I'm not going to use my bonus action for Einstein. Okay. I'll go ahead and activate that star. I think. What I want to Hmm. Your willpower five. I'm stat five. And we said this was an enclosed building. Is that correct? Yeah. So you can't diving charge into it. So that makes me feel a bit safer. I guess I'll go with the aversion here. That aversion is going to uh, use Frightening Reminder on Dorian. It will go off this time. And is going to... One, two, three, four. Away. And then I will just... One, two, three, four, five. And concentrate. And then draw a card for Nefarious Pact. So, over to you. Okay. Um, I think... Let's see here. That, I get that, I get that. All right. Well, I think. Oh, hold on. I got to check something. This is important. Mm -hmm. Woof. Oops. Not do that. No. There we go. Sheesh. Well, I could do that. Huh. That's not really going to do a super lot for me, though. Okay. Well, I think that... All right, I think that what we're gonna do is we're actually going to go with Bo Peep. Um, mm -hmm. Bo Peep is going to kick this can. Um, she's going to kick this can basically to here. Um, I guess maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, let me instead 
I think unfortunately I need to kick it to here, which also doesn't fuck. The furthest I can kick it is to here. And then because I can't kick it through the terrain so i kind of screwed Oops. up i screwed up but such is life okay so instead uh we are going to go with bo peep um we are going to kick the can um i guess we'll do it there yeah we'll just do it there that was the original plan and we're going to stick to it even though seems I, good i messed up so um next up we are going to i guess i'm probably just gonna have to do this since i messed everything up um we're gonna go one two three four five six uh we are going to reckless and then we're gonna kick the can again uh, we're going to kick it uh, basically to here is about the best that I can do mm -hmm. because of the terrain. Uh, and then she is done. And unfortunately, that will eat your pit trap. Yeah, that's okay. That was kind of a pointless pit trap anyway. Yeah. All right. That's a bow peep done. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's poltergeist time because you were looking at him. So he's going to fly to here. Or not fly, but incorp to there. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to incorp charge to here. Okay. And he is going to uh, take a swing on Ma. Sure. Uh, I'm not using my focus. Stat four on defense. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Get it, poltergeist. Okay. I was 17. That was really funny. Um, so it's just a two, three, four track with no triggers of relevance, right? Correct. Essentially, yeah. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. I, that puts me at a 15 to your 17, so negative flip. So negative. And that'll be two whole damage. Okay. That's fine. Now we're going to use our bonus to Glimpse of Insanity you. I will spend focused on this. And because you are within two inches of me, my distraction aura puts you on a negative. Oh, saucy. Um, mm -hmm. You are a stat five on my stat five. I um, am. I will use a stone to go back to a straight. Makes sense. Yeah. I have a 15. You have a 15. All right. I'll I go do. To a 17. You know what? I like that. I'm going to go to 17 as well. Oh, you. I do cheat, which means that you get to scamper, yep. but you will get stunned, and because you get stunned, I will use Misery to ping you a damage. Okay. Um, that is going to be the Poltergeist, and then you can scamper wherever you wish. Um, I don't actually think that I need to scamper. Okay. Um, let me take a look because I don't think I can because it's a push. So, or is it a move? I don't even know. I think it's a move. Move. Well, I say that. Uh, push up to two in any direction after resolving the current action or a. Okay. So, um, so that's not going to do me any good. I'm not going to bother scampering. I don't need to. Okay. 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 Um, oh, you have a pass token, by the by, because I summoned a sorry. Um, I think that what we're going to do is we're going to go with this. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. Um, we are going to go with...
All right. I think I just have to go with Ma. That's I'm pretty sure that's the only viable okay. course of action here. So Ma's going to take a damage from Life Leech. Just mm -hmm. going to get pinged down. Uh, and we're going to take a swing on the Poltergeist. Okay. I'm going to use my focus. Poltergeist has defense of four. Here we go. Big yeah. Okay. I have a 12. Okay. I'm also at a 12. You know what? I am not going to cheat. Not going to cheat. Okay. Um, so that puts me at a negative flip. I can't declare triggers. Mm -hmm. um, double negative goes to negative because of the focus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and you've got in corp. Um, that's fine. I'll just take the negative flip. Uh, take three goes to two. Okay. Um, I'll swing again. No focus this time. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, you got a joker there. That's a nice looking joker. It is actually. Um, so that's going to be a 20 to your nine. So positive flip. Positive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And no triggers, of course. Uh, that time severe for five. All right. Poltergeist ceases to exist. Okay. Doot. Uh, I already used my focus, so that's done. She has another AP. Um, I did not realize that the enclosed would stop me from diving charging into it so that kind of messes my plan up a little bit uh, so instead i think what we're gonna do is that's not really a great spot for her to be in at the moment all right so i think that what we're going to do here is for her last AP, I could do that. No, that's not going to do me any good. Um, I guess just for the fun of it, I will, because I don't really think that there's anything else super relevant that I can do right now. I'm going to toss a handful of snakes at Pandora because I never got to use that attack. Um, and did we not say the edges of the thing are like walls? Or oh, that's true. So can I even see Pandora? I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. All right. So in that case, I guess I could toss a handful of snakes at the sorrow. Um, and I just deleted Ma for some reason, which was pretty sweet. <laughs> um, so yeah I think I'll do that and I just copied Ma because again I'm not good at it's okay new, new key key bindings this is go. this is authentic yes uh, all right so yeah I'll just toss a handful of snakes at the sorrow uh, that's going right. to be stat five on defense I'm defense five you do not suffer concealment because I you're not drawing line of sight through it right uh, I'm at a 17 <laughs> I can't declare triggers anyway, which is really what I want. So I'll just miss. Okay. Good activation, Ma. At least you killed the poltergeist. And your uh, sorry, and your um stun goes away. Mm -hmm. So I think what makes sense to me is we're gonna have you have Gracie and a bunch of bushwhackers, eh? And little lass, yeah. And little lass. Um. So I think I'd like to look at Dorian. Sure. I don't think I need to boring conversation here just because you have Bryn nearby. So Bryn has his aura of cancel triggers going. That's six, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Yeah, it's six. Um, Gracie's so slow, the best thing she can hope for right now is to hit the Sorrow. Um, and that's the Summon Sorrow, so it, it does not matter. Um, and everything else would be out of boring conversation. So I will activate Dorian. I will use Anhui. Or, I'm sorry, Losing Interest. 
that is in fact going off, no trigger. So friendly model, this model and friendly unengaged models in pulse six, which is everyone can move up to two inches. So two, I will have candy go. And a half of Pandora go to there. Oh, it's a move, not a push. So I'll let Pandora go one half, half one. The aversion will push through the wall because it's in corp and is not a place effect. I will let the sorrow one, two, going to here. Dorian will go one, two. The aversion will go one, two to there. Then Dorian is going to take a walk action. One, two, three, four. And with an interact, because this you can kick the markers while engaged. He'll do his showgirl duty and kick the marker here and kill that pit trap. Okay. And he's done. Okay, cool. All right. I think that what we're going to do is we're going to use this bushwhacker right down the bottom. Uh, we mm -hmm. are going to walk one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we are going to kick this strategy marker to here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we are going to create a pit trap, which is not going to go off. Um, we are going to not really need that pit trap. So what we are instead going to do is, well, do I, I guess I can't walk again because I've already used all my AP. So, uh, we are actually going to cheat that in to get the pit trap off. Uh, we're going to put it right about here and then bushwhackers done okay i think we're going to we'll go with the sorrow number two okay uh sorrow number two is going to walk one, two three and then it's going to charge because it's in corp it's just ignoring terrain and it's not yep. placing uh, to here, and is going to try and smack Ma. Sure. That is going to be stat 5 on your defense. I have a 14. Okay, matter 15. You know what? I don't care. Okay. Uh, I will now try to glimpse some insanity you. Stat 5 on your willpower. Okay. Black Joker. Okay. Cool beans. That's a sorrow done. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with the Little Lass. Uh, little Lass is going to... Little Lass is going to walk. Uh, we're going to go one, oops, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, little Lass is going to horrible hollering on the bushwhacker on the ground. Uh, who's going to mm -hmm. relent, is going to need a 7 for this to go off. Does not go off. Man, my simple rules are sucking today. Um, not. Yeah, not great. Um, that bushwhacker is going to push 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. Uh, we're just going to push to about here. Mm -hmm. And little last doesn't have a bonus of relevance, so she's done. Okay. 
we are going to go ahead and have my aversion go. Mm -hmm. The aversion is going to attempt to spook my sorrow number one. Mm -hmm. I do, in fact, spook him to there. The sorrow is then going to walk one, two, three, four, uh, staying in your engagement. Ah, not going within four of Gracie because that would be silly. And then, um, oh, actually, measuring, I too should uh, have fallen pray to the doesn't uh, clone my model thing. <laughs> okay. So we're going to walk one, two, three to here. So I'm just outside of four of Gracie. I'm within three of the Bushwhacker. I'm going to scatter. Ooh, nice. So Bushwhacker will go um, one, two, three to here. And Bryn will go uh, away from me. And I'm just going to have him go one. Basically, he's going to bonk into door. Okay. And then, technically speaking, uh, Antipathy now goes off. Um, after an enemy model ends a move with an R of four of an aversion, mm -hmm. After resolving the current action, they must take a TN13 whip, whip duel or be pushed three inches away from me. Okay. Please take a whip duel. Are you done with the scatter? That is the, that is the extent of the scatter, yep. Okay. Um, he fails, but... I, I would push you again, yeah. uh, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, I think I'm still engaged with you. Uh, Actually, no, yeah. that's gladly. I want to stay engaged with you because okay. bushwhackers don't ignore friendly fire. Correct. Uh, the aversion is done, and I will draw a card for Nefarious Pact. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I will go with... I'll go with the bushwhacker that's on top of the train car. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to take a shot at the unactivated sorrow. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my focus. Makes sense. Big numbers over here. I've got a seven. Okay. Um, I've got a nine. Nine to seven would be a straight flip uh, with... Clever ruse. Mm -hmm. um, let's make you work for it. Your total is, I'm sorry, you said nine. nine. Yeah. So I will go to a 12. 12? Okay. Yes. All right. I am going to go to a 15 with a crit strike. Sounds good. I also, um, you get to scamper with Mav. Um, so that's going to be a negative goes to a straight. Sounds correct. Okay. Uh, that's going to be weak. Uh, I will go ahead and cheat it to severe six. Pop. Okay. And I'm not going to, I don't think that there's a reason for me to scamper with Ma. So, uh, actually there is, sorry, I'm going to go. What's the Sorrow's engagement range? One. One, okay. Yeah. So I don't think I can get out. Um, I can't, actually. Well, you can push through me, because I'm in corporate. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to decide what my best option is here. Actually, not be good though. Yeah, 
because I can see. Yeah, Candy can see you. Candy, which is not ideal. Uh, if I go here, I cannot see Candy. That is correct. And I'm out of engagement with the sorrow. Okay, that's what I'll do. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Um, uh, Bushwhacker will try and create a pit trap. Um, actually, I have another shot, too. Um, you do. You don't have any more focus. Yeah. All right. Um, I will take a shot at the now unengaged Sorrow. Sounds good. With no focus. That's going to be Sorrow. a 15. 14. I will not I'm cheat. Sorry. Uh, I, I apologize. I'm at 14. No, I'm 15. Stat 5. What am I talking yeah. about? Yeah, we're equal stat, yeah, so equal I stat. am not going to cheat. Not going to cheat. No triggers on this one, so that's going to be a negative flip. Uh, week 2 goes to 1. Takes 1. And then I'll try and create a pit trap, but which I will not do. Okie dokie. Let's see. You have Bushwhacker and Gracie? Uh, yeah, because I used the glass. Okay. So I'll go ahead and have uh, Sorrow that hasn't activated yet go. We're going to kick this marker okay. to here. Uh, doot. And then I'm going to walk. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Not be there. And then I will take a... Um, since I'm within an inch of the edge of this concealing and I'm inside the strategy marker, I'll try and stun your bushwhacker since I'm within six. Sure. Step five on your willpower. Yeah. You know what? You are not stunned. Okay. Cool. I am done. All righty. Um, I will... go with that bushwhacker um i th think i don't think that taking a shot right now is really going to do anything so i'll just make you work a little harder for next turn um i'm gonna go ahead and walk one two three one two three uh you have a one inch engage so i'm gonna go basically to right here uh, okay, and then I'm gonna then take it. your antipathy aura. Please oh, take a T and thirteen book no, two. Antipathy aura. I don't want to do. Yeah, that. that's okay. I'll just go. What's the antipathy aura? Is that the one that you put? Four on? inches. Yeah. Four inches. Okay. So you can get to one of the markers. To, yeah, I can get to basically like there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if I walk to there, I can kick it. But I can't, I don't think I can kick it outside of an inch of your dudes, which is really just AP trading, and that's not awesome. Yeah. So one of them will be in range. All right. So instead, because that's not really going to do a whole heck of a lot for me, again, should have cloned, <laughs> uh, I will shift to there it is. That's where I was. Um, so what I will instead do is I'm just going to take a shot at the unengaged sorrow up there uh, because I don't think that moving and kicking is really going to do me a whole lot right now. All right. Um, uh, so this friend? Yeah. I think okay. that's it. Um, no. Mm, yeah, what the hell? Why not? I don't think this is a winning strategy, but that's okay. We're going to do it anyway. We're just going to shoot that sorrow. Okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> at a 13. You know what? I will cheat to a 14. Cheat to a 14. Okay, I'll shoot again. Uh, Ma does get to scamper if you wish. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, she's not going to. She's fine where she is. I am at a 15. Okay, I'm at a 16. I will not cheat. 
Negative flip and hope for a severe with crit strike. Uh, nope. Did hit a moderate, which is four. Goes to three. You don't quite die. Not quite. Womp womp. Okay. Uh, that bushwhacker is done. You just have Gracie. Jeez. And I just have Candy. And just Candy. Yep. So uh, we'll go Candy. Because I have to. She is going to take a one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. uh, she's fast from last turn. Uh, she is going to attempt to heal that sorrow okay. with her goody basket. Uh, she does, and that sorrow will heal for three. Holy smokes. That's some good candy. Yeah, jeez. Back to four. Uh, I have one more action, and I have a bonus. So I will concentrate and then spend focus to attempt to glimpse of insanity mob. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Stat six on your book. Hey, there's my joker. All right. So she's stunned. Uh, she is stunned. And you know what? I will go ahead and because I am not, I'm on the other side of Dorian from Bryn. So you can't cancel my trigger. Um, No, if I give you fast, I can't strip it off with my action because I don't have any more. And if you win initiative, you get a fast mob. Well, fast doesn't do much for you because you're a master. Right. So yeah, I'll declare burnout. So you'll gain... Uh, you have stunned. You'll take a damage from the misery from the sorrow. Sure. And then I will um, use Pandora's aura of... Expose fears whenever a model within 10 suffers damage from misery. Move it up to 2. Okay. I'll move you um, back to being engaged by the sorrow. Okay. Then you'll suffer 2 damage for gaining yeah. uh, from for burnout for fast. Right. I'm going to stun to prevent. Yep. And black joke. Yikes. Great. Yikes. So I'm fast and I take 2. And then and take another one. Uh, another one for candy's misery. Yep. And that is going to be me done. Yikes. Ma's in trouble, boys. Ma's in trouble. Okay. Um, Gracie is all I have left. Um, I th think... Gracie can't really do a whole lot here. So... I clone her. She can move a big two. Mm -hmm. One, two. Oops. Two, one, two. That's about as far as she can get. I think you can charge Dorian. I think he's in four of you, but he's the only one of my models that's in. Yeah, that's the only one. Um, Okay. Well, unfortunately, I think that charging right now is just not going to do anything because I am whopping min two and can't declare any triggers. So and you would end a move in the ver version or so you have end up getting pushed. So that's yeah. not great. So I think that really what I need to do is just do my best to future proof and maybe actually be able to score some points. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to push this marker to here mm -hmm. and then I could in theory, push it again to here, which yep. still puts it within an inch of your sorrow, uh, not, but super That's... ideal so i'll just push it to like there mm -hmm. instead just so it's outside of an inch smart and i guess that's gracie dunn her various horrible conditions go away mm -hmm. and yeah i think that's turn. i think that is um so at the end of turn i don't have any end of turn shenanigans uh we both will score the strategy 
And I was active player, so I have to reveal schemes first. And I will reveal public demonstration. Nice. I have both aversions in sorrow number two. For some reason, when I click on Bo Peep and I try and clear her aura, it actually just puts an aura back on the bushwhacker. What the fuck is it doing? Who knows what's going on? That is very weird. All right, well, we'll just turn it off. So you declared public demo, and yeah. And do you reveal any schemes? I do not. Okay. Um, going into turn three, would this be a good time to take a five-minute break? Sure, that's fine. All right, thank you. I suppose I should probably take a five-minute break, too. Contemplate all my misplays this game. All right, I'm back. Hmm. Oof, man, I'm hungry. I am back. Welcome back. I may have to take a like a two minute um, break at some point. I have a pet food delivery coming, but it's like pouring rain out, so I need to be able to oh. bring it inside before it gets so, uh, totally soaked. Um, you can take that break whenever you need. Yeah, it should only be a moment or two. All right, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, that's end of turn. Let me send that back to the fate deck shuffle i'm gonna pitch this card and i'm going to draw big seven i draw back um i keep three okay keep three Jesus. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. um you went first last turn so it's on you to stone first i believe I think I shall. Okay. I'm actually going to stone as well. All right. 
Let me just double check my target numbers. One, and I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, so we can get rid of that one. And I think I think I get rid of that one. Okay. okay. Um, initiative, mm -hmm. uh, we both have plus two this turn. Indeed. Okay. I have a seven. I also have a seven. Uh, I have to cheat first, though, because one of my pluses is from past tokens. That is true. And that comes in afterwards. So, <sighs> well, if I don't go with Ma, she's just going to die. But the question is, no. what can she actually do? Because, yeah, I mean, if you go with, I mean, Candy can kill her, Pandora can kill her. Um, yeah. So I guess I just cheat this 13 and see if you can tie or beat it. I don't think I wanted to cheat a 13 here. Okay. So I'll take first activation. Um, now, as far as model count goes... Um, I don't think I've killed anything of yours yet. No, and the only thing I killed was uh, poltergeist. One pass token, yeah, yep. because I killed the poltergeist and I killed the sun. Uh, sorrow. Mm -hmm. All right, and the crow is going to give me some shielded. Um, I will put a shielded onto Bo Peep. Mm -hmm. uh, conditions raise shielded as E. All right. Uh, so Bo Peep is going to gain a shielded, and something else is going to gain a shielded. If I put it on Gracie, you just end up turning it into badness. Mm -hmm. um, but I can put it on Ma. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So Ma's going to gain a shielded. Um, Ma's going to activate. So the shield that is going to eat the life leech. Mm -hmm. um, and then do you heal? Because I didn't actually take damage. I don't even know how life leech works. Yes. You do. Okay. This model heals one and the enemy model suffers one. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So and then because of candy, yep. you must discard a card. Yeah. And I can't gain stunned again, so I don't get misread or anything like that. But I do have to discard a card. Okay. Um, I, with five stones and a handful of cards, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to kill Candy, so Ma is actually going to clone herself, um, and she is going to get out of dodge. Uh, she's going to diving charge over to there. Mm -hmm. Um, she it's is what I going to, um, kick this can... Um, she's going to, she's going to turn off her aura because it's confusing. Um, mm -hmm. she is going to kick this can up to here, which is going to wreck her pit trap. Um, she is going to walk one, two, three, four, five up to here. Uh, mm -hmm. And then she is going to create a pit trap. She is stunned. She is stunned. She is not going to create a pit trap. She is going to be done. Mm -hmm. Not bad. That's what I would have done, to be honest. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> speaking of things that uh, I should do. Away. Yeah. I think we do Dorian here. Sure. Because I think this is when boring conversation needs to be up. So, um, yeah, boring conversation, needing a seven. That is, in fact, a seven. Womp. And then... I guess... That goes through there. It's not going to push her anywhere of use. Um... Yeah, um, we're going to concentrate and then spend focus to punch Big Brain Bryn 
with cigarette holder to get around uh, serene countenance. Okay. So this would be a straight flip against your defense. Okay. I have uh, 15. an 11. Do I really care? I probably do. So we'll go ahead and go to a 16 with lie down and nap. And this would give me burning one and distracted one. Correct. Okay. Which you can. Pandora can just like make those into good conditions for me, right? Sure can. Yeah. Or she can turn them into like, you know, slow and stunned, which is. If I were being a jerk and, you know, I'm playing Pandora, would I be a jerk? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely would. Um,. Uh, yeah, actually, I, unfortunately, I'm going to have to let that go. All right. Would you like to cancel my trigger? Uh, the lie down and nap trigger? Yes. Mm. No, I don't think I care about that one because I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything significant to, to, well, I mean, I could, let me see if Gracie can actually do anything. Um, if I were to... Well, I can just do this. I mean, I could charge him and I could get multiple attacks off. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do have boring combo. Up. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Um, yeah, you know what? I am going to cancel that trigger because this, okay. I could theoretically kill D Dorian. Is that after declaration? Um, yes, so you still have to discard the I card. I still have to discard the card. Okay. So I would discard that card. Okay. Sounds good. And that is Dorian done. Okay. Um, well, let's see here. I could... Check something real quick. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. That is interesting. I wonder if that's the play. do that he's incorporeal so really i would need to hit moderate and severe or hit some triggers so it's a and i have to pass all the stupid boring conversations which is mm -hmm. very annoying if i go there however i'll plus this the stupid aversion or that i have to deal with so that's like another simple duel what's the aversion test <laughs> I want to say it is a willpower 13. And willpower 13. Okay. That is correct. Willpower 13. Okay. All right. I think. Huh. That's actually kind of cute. But is it worth it is the question. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, Louise, hold on. Okay. Things just got significantly more complicated.
Oh no, that's a bummer. That would have been so much more fun. Is that a game related bummer or is that? A yeah, it's a game related bummer. Okay. I was seeing, basically, I just, I realized that Bryn is engaged by both Pandora and Damien and Dorian. So I could theoretically shoot for the stars and attack Pandora and then have her use misdirected rage, which I never, ever, ever, ever get to use and then do some sort of nasty attack on Dorian. And then I realized that misdirected rage specifies it has to be a melee or ranged attack, which she has neither of. So that is I can't actually use well, it. In, in all fairness, the aversion is also within an inch of you and does have a melee attack. Does it ignore? Does the misdirected rage trigger actually ignore range, though? It takes melee or gun action, chosen and controlled. This model is ignored when determining whether or not the target is engaged. Does it ignore so the it range. does not ignore range. Yeah. Uh, so that also, sadly, does nothing. Mm -hmm. I've literally never gotten an opportunity to use that in a constructive way in all the many games that I've played with Ma. So I got really excited for a sec that I was like, holy crap, I'm engaged with a master. I can do this thing. No, I can't. So, yeah. Much it's, sadness. It's such a niche trigger. It is such a niche, niche trigger. Um, so instead, what I think I am going to do is I am going to use Bryn, uh, oddly enough. Um mm -hmm. I am going to intuition. intuition because that's important. All right. I can do that and I can do that. Um, that doesn't do a lot. That was pretty funny, though. All right. Hmm. Okay. So we are going to put that there. We are going to put that there. And we're going to put, oh, can I do that then? No, because I don't have the right TM for that. Okay. Um, so we're going to put that there. And then before I actually do my activation, um, mm -hmm. do you have, what do you have for condition removal? I mean, I know uh, Pandora can change stuff on models to other conditions, but aside from other. That, other than her swapping conditions, I can only remove them if they match my opportunist. And as a targeting a friendly model with an opposed duel, I oh. targeting a model with an opposed duel, I can end the opportunist condition to get a plus flip. So for Dorian, that's distracted. For Candy, that's fast. For everyone else, it's stun. If it's not those three conditions, I can't end it outside of Pandora. Okay. Okay. Uh, arguably, Candy can make Pandora fast to remove slow, but like staggered or stunned, or staggered, really, uh, I can't do much about. Can't do much about staggered. Okay. Uh, but you can definitely do stuff about stunned. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that definitely changes my plan a little bit. Um, I think that what we're going to do is and go ahead before you don't forget, uh, Bryn will have to feed in boring conversation duels in between when you stack his intuition. That's true. So I will have to do that and then that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. And Bryn is going to do a boring conversation uh, because he is going to. I guess that's the move because that other thing's not going to do a whole lot. Um, we're going to do a boring conversation for a um, what do you call it? Calculate the possibilities. Uh, he passes. Uh, he gets the calculate off. 
and then he is going with the to master with plan the mass, master plan trigger. Yep, yeah. he's going to do ten. Holy smokes, that's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. So that's going to be one, two, three, four tomes going into the uh, discard pile. Okay. Um, I am going to take three. And that's going to be the 13 crows, the 13 tomes, and the 13 masks. Mm -hmm. And we're going to shuffle those back into the deck. Um, and then for his master plan trigger, I think I have to choose the models, right, Yo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Choose one enemy for each tome. Oh, it's for the it's for shuffled back in, not for discarded, right? Correct. Um. So in that case, I'm actually going to change what I put back in. I'm going to break this pile up, and I'm going to take another tome because a twelve and a thirteen are pretty similar. <laughs> And there aren't, I can't do the Joker. So uh, I'm going to swap out this um, 13 crow for that 12 tome. We're going to put all of those back in. We're going to shuffle, mm -hmm. shuffle, shuffle. And then I'm going to draw a card. And I'm going to choose Pandora. And I'm going to, I can't see Candy. So I'm not going to choose her. I guess I'll have to choose this aversion that's right next to me. Okay, so I think what I will do is I will elect to um, gain stunned on Pandora, mm -hmm. and I will elect to gain stunned on the aversion. Okay, um, and then Bryn is going to sharp wit on Pandora. Okay. Okay, he's going to have to bore in conversation. Uh, which he just barely passes by the skin of his teeth. And I am at a 15. I am at a 6. Okay, cool. Um, so I Slow. will cheat this tome so that I can draw a card. And you're mm -hmm. going to gain slow. And he's not going to use his bonus action. So he's done. Okay. Um, we are going to go with the aversion up here. Sure. They are going to go one, two, uh, basically here. Yep. They are going to spook candy, Ooh. needing a five. That is, in fact, a five. Candy will go one, whoop, one, two, three, four to here. Sure. Um, <clears throat> we are going to then have the Declare a charge. One, two, to about here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack Pandora. I will use Opportunist to strip away her stunned to get a plus flip. Uh, unfortunately, a Luck Thief only applies to you, not me. Mm -hmm. uh, but I am not going to relent. Okay. So the attack flip has a plus. The defense flip is that um i'm actually going to take the nine here okay um uh, can bryn see me uh, bryn can um i would like to attempt to ch uh declare the um heave trigger Ooh. i don't love that would you like to discard a card to negate it so it places you anywhere within three inches of the aversion? Correct. Gotcha. So that looks like that, which is not great. And for what it's worth, it can't be inside the building because of place rules. Right. Right. Okay. Um, I think... I will. That's not 
yeah, I don't like that heave. I'm going to cancel it. Makes sense. Um, uh, but we got to the point where I hit, so it'll be a negative twist. And I will elect not to Joker Pandora. No. She will take three. And that aversion is done. Okay. And will um, draw me a card for Nefarious Pact. Okay. Sounds good. What's Candy's big stupid aura? Like four inches or something dumb? Four like inches. Of course it is. Of course it is. Yeah, so if I do that, it's really not going to do anything. And then you can even do really rude stuff. Okay. So I think that the plan here is we are going to yeah it doesn't really help me what do i have all right we're gonna go with the what's that look like uh Okay, uh, we're going to go with the bushwhacker that is on top of the building over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're going to shoot at your sorrow that's in the forest. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to focus first, and then I'm going to shoot you. That's good. Okay, so that's going to go to a straight flip, because I don't ignore concealment. Yeah. I have a 10. Okay, I have a 14. 14. Um, I will go to meet you at 14. Meet me at a 14. All right. I will go to a 16 with a crit strike. Sure. Okay. Um, so that's going to be a straight flip on the damage. Mm -hmm. Severe for six. All right. Boop. Okay. Uh, and then. I've already established that I can't actually create a pit trap with him, and I'm not trying to get rid of cards on my deck, so mm -hmm. he is done. All right. Um, I think what we we'll, what we shall do is I will. Ma has a focus from her upgrade when she walked. It just just occurred to me that you can, you know, like mess with. <laughs> if I get there. If you yeah. get there. Which is a way. I go to there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to activate the aversion. Sure. And the first thing the aversion is going to do is scatter. Sure. So I'm going to push Bryn to this side of Dorian. Now, you've ended a move within R of 4 so of a version. Right. Yep. Uh, he passes. Okay. And then the aversion is going to walk one, two, three. Um, and yeah, be, be such that you're going to be drawing line of sight through all of the concealment, and Gracie's not within a single charge of me. Sure. Um, I'm no longer stunned, and at the end of my activation, I draw a card for Nefarious Pact. Sure. Okay. Um, the Bushwhacker in the middle is going to activate. Uh, it's going okay. to focus. It's going to shoot the unactivated Sorrow. All right. Uh, no concealment on this one, so hoo -ah. I have a 16. Okay. Uh, I am at a 15. I'm going to go up to an 18. You sure do. Okay. Um, with a crit strike, straight flip is weak. I'm going to cheat to severe for six. All right. Boop. 
and I'm going to create a pit trap as you do, which mm -hmm. fails. Alrighty. We are going to go with Pandora. Sure. Pandora's first trick, I think, is going to be attempting to stun Gracie. Sure. So weight of despair. Okay. This is on willpower, I assume. Hmm. No, I'm thinking about it because if I do that, I won't be able to summon the poltergeist because Bryn is there because I'm slow. And okay, I'm just gonna shuffle that because we saw it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no, it's fine. I I didn't actually like see it on the oh, thing, right. but well. um. Because giving a, well, I might as well well, I might as well do that, yeah. Um, we'll start with Weight of Despair on Gracie. Sure. So stat is um, six against willpower. Okay. I have a 13. I have a 17. I will use Aspect of Fortune to cheat with the top card of my Fate deck. Sure. Uh, and I miss. So um, we are going to use a walk action okay. to be on the other side. Or can't be on the other side of Bryn and still compounding emotions him. Five. I'll just go here. Sure. And then I will compounding emotion, needing a six. Um, I will go ahead and put in this. Uh, not sorry. Um, none of my woes are damaged. Yeah, we'll put in that. Um, so that'll be a scamper on the bushwhacker on the bottom. But uh, Bryn is now stunned. He didn't have any conditions. Isn't that his? Oh, that's not his focus. Oh, that's your um, aversions. Ah, uh, then I really shouldn't have taken that action at all. Um. Oh well. Pandora is done. Okay. Fair enough. Um. Hmm. Let's see here. Little Lass is going to activate. Um. Mm -hmm. Little Lass is going to Horrible Hollerin' on, uh, what's the range like? Um, Little Lass is going to, can I see? Ah. I'll have to use the measuring tape. I don't know if I can see candy. Looks like I can. What do you think? I think so. You think so? Okay. Uh, you've got a bunch of cards, though. I'm only stat four. What's your... Willpower on Candy. She's stats Candy. six, so the chances of me hollering holler and hollering her are like pretty slim. So mm -hmm. in that case, um, Little Lass is going to horrible hollering on Gracie. I'm going to go ahead and use my focus for this. Mm -hmm. I still didn't get it. Okay. Um, I will do it again. No focus this time. Okay. Still didn't get it. Great. Oof. Um, I guess I'll cheat. Um, yeah. Um, we're gonna go basically one, two, three. Go to here. Uh, 
she was like, this is again what I get for not cloning. She was basically even with the train car pretty much exactly. Mm -hmm. So I am going to clone her this time. And we're going to see what kind of stuff. So basically the best I can get is here to stay outside of both of the auras, mm -hmm. uh, which we'll have to do. Okay. So that's a last done? Yeah. Okay, dokie. Um, we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and burn my pass token. Okay. Um, that aversion's real annoying. All right. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to go with Gracie. Okay. Um, that's real annoying. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with Gracie. Uh, we are going to walk. What do you have left? Candy? I have candy left. Just candy. That's it. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is... This is like the stupidest thing ever, but I got to do it. So I am going to focus. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to walk. One, two, three, four to here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the aversion test. Before you do, yep. um, it, since you are still at that location within six inches of Dorian, mm -hmm. it may be worthwhile to go reckless first if you wanted to go reckless. Oh, I'll just hold on. I'll just boogie boogie like to here. Then I'm outside there you of go. six. Okay. Um, okay. Right. So I got to take power the aversion 13. test. I'm going to use my focus because you can do that on some bulldogs now. And hope mm -hmm. not to have the same luck that I had before. Good thing I used the focus. Um, okay, now I'm going to Reckless. Uh, and I'm going to use that to kick your can. Oh, I can't kick it to the other side. Oh, no. My plan was a miserable failure. I used all that for nothing. Um, all right, well, such is life. I can't get to the other well. one, so... It is not completely on your side of the board, so it does deny me a strap point if I don't uh, move candy to kick. Gotcha. I thought it, I didn't think it had to be completely, but you're right. Okay. Yeah. So you have to use candy to kick it if you want a strap point, basically. I do. Which is fine by me. And Gracie's done. All right. Well, I have to go with candy. So candy is going to start with attempting glimpse of insanity on Gracie. Sure. Actually, I say that before I do that. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, before we do that, we're going to take a walk. Sure. One, two, three, four, such that I don't draw a line of sight through forest set crazy. Sure. We're going to kick the marker. Mm -hmm. And we're going to kick it down to here ish. Okay. Now we're going to target Gracie with Glimpse of Insanity. That's six on your willpower. Um, you got a 12. I will go to a 14. Okay, so she's stunned. And I have on your heels, and you do not have a card to cancel. I will go ahead and place myself right here. Okay. Um, I'll place myself right here okay. to get little ass in the arm. Okay. But that is going to be all of my model. Okay. And then you get to do the, I take a damage or a push from the misery, right? Um, you do. I'm just double checking. Okay. Cause actually the sequence will be, you gain the condition. So I don't place yet. Okay. 
um, I get to push you two. So I'm going to push you um, one, or one, two. And now you take a willpower 13 duel from the aversion. Oh, I'm sorry, I do a damage to you with Candy's m Misery. Pandora sees you take damage from Misery, so she pushes you two. Because you push two, the aversion does its thing. Because it's a never-ending cascade of suck. Right. So now I take the aversion test? Yes. Okay, I'll put my stun back on me. Mm. Uh, I fail. So you will push four. One, two, three. Bonk to there. Okay. And then Candy will go um, right here. Okay. Um, eh, I'll put her here so she's still stunning that friend when they act. Okay. Sounds um, good. And you did take your one misery damage, yeah? Uh, no, I did not, because I didn't know if you were going to push me or do the damage to me with the misery. So, Yep. Um, I did both, because that's what Pandora does. Bonk. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yep. All right. Um, that is all to you. Okay. That's all your models, right? It is. Okay. Cool. So if I go here... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That doesn't really do anything good. Delete. If I go one, two, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I still can't engage you. I don't think that there's a way. No, I definitely can't. So I can't do a walk charge. I could still reckless and do that though, which is not the worst thing in the world. Um, There's definitely no way that I'm going to be able to get to that marker to push it. So I guess I just seed that point, and that's just the way it is. Um, don't think that there's really anything else super saucy that I can do. So I think that what we're going to do is she's already stunned which is dumb and okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to go with the bushwhacker down the bottom uh, the bushwhacker down the bottom is going to walk one, two, three, four, five to right here. Uh, it is going to take a shot at the aversion that's in the forest. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, actually, before it does that, it's going to create a pit trap and probably pull up a super high card or a black joker, which is mm -hmm. a good thing that I did that. Uh, I'm going to take a shot at the aversion in the forest. I'm going to use my focus. So I'm on a straight flip. And I flip very low, so I do not. This. And I don't create a pit trap, and he is done. Um, so we're gonna go with Bo Peep. Um, we are gonna have to deal with the fact that Candy is in my backfield. Um, I think that what we're gonna have to do is uh, we're gonna go with Bo Peep. We're gonna clone myself and we're gonna go one two three four five six and then we're gonna go uh i guess we'll just reckless now because that's how you do you got shielded for that, uh, yeah. get rid of the shielded and then we're gonna go one two three four five six and we're gonna go one two three four five uh, basically to like here you're going to take an aversion test. Oh, right, aversion. 
so I'll just go outside his aura. I have like a zillion movement. Oh, wait. No, I kind of want to be there, though. No, that's all right. I'll just go over here because she has trample and stuff. So mm -hmm. not a big deal. I have plenty of movement. Um, we're going to go. And, what? and outside of boring conversation aura? And outside of boring conversation aura. So many auras. Um, well, I can't get out of, outside of boring conversation and the aversion and still keep you outside of an inch. So that's just the way it is. Um, we're going to take a swing on candy. Um, okay. Stat six on defense. Uh, 18. Uh, 19. Okay. You do. Okay. Um, I'll declare the hogwash lost sugar as you do. Sure. Um, so that's going to be a negative flip. Mm hmm. Uh, it's going to be weak for two. I'll eat a stone. Okay. I'll take none. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to see what the best I can do is to make you in the least disastrous position. Um, one there. Can I get you? Yeah, that works. Because then... Bo Peep is going to have to deal with the aura, but then nothing else is going to have to deal with the aura. So that's where we're going to put you. Okay. okay. I think that's the turn. Yeah. All right. Whoo. Yeah, she heals. Got... Oh, she doesn't because I didn't mm. actually damage you. Um, going into turn four, um, I do not reveal any schemes. Okay. Um, neither do I. All right, we both uh, will score the strategy. Yep, we both score the strat. And that was a, I think that was a good turn for you. It was. All said and done. Yeah, I feel like... I mean, killing the two Sorrows before they activated was really, really big. That was a big deal, yeah. I'm going to get rid of these two threes out of my... Okay. Send a Fate deck, shuffle, shuffle... What I really should have done, and I, of course, I didn't realize this until afterwards. I actually forgot that I still had the bushwhacker down in the bottom corner. I should have gone Oof. with the bushwhacker first to force you to use candy, and then I would have stood a better chance at potentially denying the strategy. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, it really would have depended on what you did with candy's activation. So that's fair. Yeah. So uh, we are going to draw seven cards. Says I. Yeah. Um. I think I still went... F no, you went first last time because you flipped a 13. Yes. So would you like to stone? Um, I don't feel like my stones are going to do a whole lot for me in terms of damage prevention at this point, so I am going to. All right. Two. Okay. Alrighty. And I will stone as Okay. And I will get rid of this two. And oh we'll get rid of this five. Okay. And initiative. Yes, sir. I have a two. <laughs> I have a black choker. Oof. <laughs> Okay, you're up. All right. Um, no, uh, no chores for you either. Goodness. Uh, no, none. Roof. Down woof, woof, woof. three models, and I don't think I've killed any of yours. One, two, three, four, yeah, I still five. Have so I will have three pass tokens. Yep. I'm going to <clears throat> get spicy here. Okay. Um, because Bryn can still see Pandora. Which is rude. But I think we still go Dorian first. Okay. And Dorian's going to use losing interest because it says this model and friendly unengaged models. Mm -hmm. So he can still move two inches because he doesn't have the engaged or unengaged oh, claws. Cute. So I need a four. That is a four. Mm -hmm. So his pulse six. Um, Candy can't because she's engaged. Right. But Pandora can go one, two. The aversion can go one, two. Mm -hmm. 
Dorian can go one, two, mm-hmm. and then Dorian can walk one, two, three, four, mm-hmm. and he can kick a marker. Sure. And he will kick that marker to right there. Okay. Um, he does not have his boring conversation or up. Sad, but I think you're pretty good at denying that right now. That being relevant anyway. Yeah, 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 for sure. And that's Dorian. Okay. So, is there anything super good that I can do right now? Um, this is what? Turn four? This is turn four. Turn four. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So I'm sorry, you you do not have a boring conversation or up right now. Correct. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. That does that. That does that. I can't use focus on Pandora because she's a dumbo. Mm-hmm. And oh, I'm stunned. <laughs> yeah. Gracie being stunned kind of messes things up for me a little bit, but that's how Pandora yeah. works. So that is how she do. Yes, that is how she do. Um, can't do that either. can't straight up charge the aversion because my movement stinks so Mm -hmm. i think that what we're gonna have to do is yeah i'm gonna be really kind of just yolo in it which is not great um i man that sucks All right, I think that, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go with Bryn, which feels like kind of a wasted activation at this point in the turn, but I think I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I have to. So we're going to go with Bryn. Um, we are going to... <sighs> I could do that, which is somewhat less than ideal. I'm going to intuition is what I'm going to do. Because that's, that's the, there you go. That's the move. Okay. So those are going to go there. And I am going to calculate, which is going to go off. And mm-hmm. I am going to pick up Big Ten. Uh, those are going to get discarded. I am going to take that and that and that and i'm gonna put them back into the fate deck so i'm putting back in a 13 a 12 and an 11. Uh, i'm going to shuffle i'm going to draw a card one two three four five six seven eight uh, which is over max hand size so i'm going to discard that um i have one big AP left. So I think that what we're going to do is we are going to sober up on candy. Uh, I am going to, what do you have that could actually get? Oh, well, no, because you can just get rid of the stunt with Pandora and turn it into something good. So mm-hmm. that's actually a terrible idea. Um, that's what a six inch pulse it is okay so that is awful um okay uh i am instead going to sober up on pandora yeah Mm -hmm. i'm gonna sober up on pandora uh because the the aversion has an engagement range right he's got a one inch engage yes yeah so he's locking me down okay um, so I am going to sober up on Pandora. I am going to stone for a crumb. That goes my last. Sounds good. Okay. I have a, um, this is against my willpower. Yeah. 
I'm at a nine. You're at a nine. I'm at an eight. Um, I am going to go to a 17. 17, you say? Mm -hmm. Um, I will go 17. Mm -hmm. Math is hard. I'll go to an 18. Okay. I will heal two because you failed. Yeah, Uh, yeah, that's true, too. Fair enough. Uh, And I... I do cheat, so uh, Bushwhacker and I think if... Oh, Lass can't see me, but Bushwhacker can uh, scamper if you want. But if you do, you'll probably have to take an aversion test. Uh, Yeah, I'd say so. Um, Probably the question is if I go to here, so I can't even really get out of the aversion aura. Um, I will... I will go here, uh, okay. which will proc an aversion test. So I need a big eight to pass, I believe. It's a 13. Yep. Okay. Uh, he's good. Cool beans. We are going to then have my other aversion go. They are going to go... Uh, what is the range of frightening reminder? It's six. So I'm going to... Um. I'm going to use scatter. Sure. So Bryn's activated. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to scatter Bryn to go one, two, three to here mm-hmm. to be just outside of Candy's engagement. Since I was outside, you were just outside of my four inch aura. Mm-hmm. You should be good. Um, I am going to attempt to push Pandora. Okay. With frightening reminder, needing a five. That is not a five, but that is a five. Okay. Pandora will push four inches away from me. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four to here. Mm-hmm. And then the aversion is going to, um, we'll just declare a charge sure. to here. And I'll spend focus to punch. Bre- so strat, stat five against your defense. Okay, I'm at a 15. Um, you know what? I'm not. I don't think I care. Okay. Uh, the aversion is done. Okay. And I draw a card for nefarious path. Okay. All right. Um, well. Concerned about that. Um, I don't think and if it's alright, I would have preferred to end Bryn's push, angled Bryn's push. So I'm just not within not six within of six of Pandora, right? Yeah, yeah that, that's fine. Okay. Um, okay. So who am I gonna go with? I could do that. Um, All right, I think that that might be my best bet. Oh, no, I can't because that screws me up. All right, so that doesn't work. Um, I will... Ugh. Say that this is just the worst. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so instead, I think that what I'll do is I'd have to get very, very, very lucky to do anything about that. So I think that what we're going to do is we're just going to use the bushwhacker we're gonna focus the bushwhacker on top of the train um we're gonna focus and we're gonna shoot at the aversion the unactivated aversion okay okay i'm at a big 18 big 18 i will go to a big 18 
Okay. So single negative. double neg goes to a single neg. Uh, I don't think I have a crow trigger. No, I do not. So single neg is still a moderate. So three uh, goes so to two. two. And he'll try and create a pit trap. And of course, he'll flip a 13 for it. So, but I still can't put it anywhere. Why did I you can that? take that back if you want. Yeah. No, I already flipped the card. It's fine. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Um, I think it's a uh, Pandora time. Sure. Um, so Pandora is going to start. Um, she is going to use Woe is Me on to Gracie. Sure. So this needs a nine to go off, mm -hmm. a nine of masks to go off. Um, I'll Black Joker. Um, well, that happens. So instead, we're going to use compounding emotions. Okay. Uh, we get it. Um, I will uh, not have any triggers to declare. Okay. So um, I'll just go ahead and convert Gracie's stun to staggered. Sure. Um, I'm inside my concealing terrain, so I'm ignoring them for purposes of drawing line of sight. Yada yada. Um, we're going to wait of despair on Gracie. So this is well, a stat the, six on um, Gracie's will. They're not the same piece of terrain, though. I'm in both of them. Oh, you're in both of them? Yeah. Oh. Right. I'm in. I'm overlapping oh, this yeah, one by a little bit. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And they're then you have just enough to ignore the inch. So okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so stat six. Yeah. <laughs> Shoo wee. Uh, uh, seven to work. Seven to seven. Uh, so what is this that you're doing? I'm sorry. Which which action? Uh, weight of despair. One, three, four damage and stun. One, three, four damage and stunned. Okay. Well, I'm sure you probably have some good cards, but we're going to try for this anyway. So I'm going to go right. up to a 14. I will go up to a 15 with touch of madness. Okay. So, so first off, one, three, suffer four. a negative. Uh, that'll be a three, which is one. And I'll gain stuff. You'll... And then you Which will, I will... Stuff. I will do a misery damage to ping you. Yeah. And then I will put uh, push you two. Okay. And then I'd like you to take a willpower 13 duel from aversion. Best. Cool. Um, then we'll discard a random card. Okay. Um, how about the second from your right? I mean, you can just grab it and move it, I think, right? You have to double click uh, to unstack them. Yeah. There we go. This one, please. Okay. And then <clears throat> Pandora will just wait of despair you again. Okay. Stat six on your willpower. Yeah. Okay, I'm at a 12. I am at an 11. Um, we'll go ahead and just cheat from the top of the deck here just to see what happens. And we'll go to a 13 with Touch of Madness. Um, I will, does this really matter? Cause I can't gain stunned, but you do, you do plus damage. So, and then the discard. So I'm just going to go up to that. Okay. Um, Pandora is done. She'll draw a card. Okay. Sounds good. Um, He's kind of a wasted activation at this point. So I'm. We still have stuff that could re stun her, though, which is not great. Um, I will go with the. Uh... I'll go with the bushwhacker that's engaged with Pandora. Okay. Um, he will. I, I can't get to the strategy marker that's underneath Pandora. I uh, you should be able to. Uh, no, I mean I can't like actually like select it. I'm not. Uh, sure. One moment. Yeah. Um, layer. 
You used to be able to hide models on on so. Um. Here we'll do this the we'll do this the uh, the tabletop way. Uh, I will take this scheme marker and I will put it right there. And we know that mm -hmm. Pandora was in base contact with the bushwhacker and that thing. Yep. So this guy is going to get pushed to here, which is going to be just outside of an inch of Dorian. That's good. And he is going to attempt to disengage. Uh, uh, you don't have to. I'm well, not engaging. Oh, mm -hmm. well, that's interesting. Um, hmm. Very interesting indeed. Okay, so I think that what we will do is uh, the chances of me killing that guy are real friggin' slim. Um, let me do some quick math here. All right. Well, I think I will instead. It's just so easy for you to screw this up, you stupid bushwhacker. All right, I think that what we're going to do is we're going to not YOLO because that's a terrible idea. Um, we are going to walk. Um, okay. We're going to walk one, two, three, four, five. Um, take an aversion uh, test. Then I have to take the aversion test, which I need an eight to pass, I think. Yes. Yeah, that stupid aversion test. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Um, so instead, I think that what we're going to do is we're not going to walk. Uh, we are just going to kick the other can. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. To right there. Seems good. All right. Uh, we will go with a version number two here. And a version number two is going to declare a charge. Sure. One, two, three, two. We're going to go, yeah, to here. Sure. And we're going to try and attack Gracie. We're going to use Opportunist Stunned to end your stunned okay. for a positive twist on Revolting Swipe. Sure. Yeah. I'm at a 16. Mm, that'll miss. Um, this is against your defense. Yeah, 16. Um, cool. I will attempt to attack you again. Okay. Uh, stat 5 on defense. That's a 13. Okay, I'm at a 7. So that'll be a straight flip. All right, I'll declare heave. Uh, that'll be severe of 4 damage. Jeebus. Hard to come. And I'll place you right here. Okay. And I will not do my bonus action. Aversion is done. It draws a card. Question is, can I fit? It does look like I can fit. Radio? Uh, it seems to be. Okay. So Bo Peep is going to activate. Um, going to discard a card against stunned. Yep, that's fine. Um, Which okay. will then proc misery. Oh, no. Um, 
so if I activate Gracie, Gracie just dies. Gracie just is, dies. Which is not awesome. Gracie's also size three. Yeah. So I still will be able to see her through Bo Peep. Yes. So if I do that, I can do that. If I do that, I can do that. Um. Okay, so basically, if Bopi when Bo Peep activates, I discard a card. She gains stun. She takes a damage, and she gets pushed Push two, two inches. inches. And then we'll probably take an aversion test. And then we'll probably take an aversion test, which she needs like a friggin' nine to pass, which is mm -hmm. less than ideal. Um, okay, so the chances of me actually being able to do that are relatively slim. It's going to be a lot of flipping. Um, Let me zoom in. How do you zoom in? Um, the top left, it looks like there's a uh, a plus button. Oh, I think that's a zoom in. Great out though. I can't. Uh, I can't either. That's weird. Huh. Mm -hmm. did, they, did they break it? Did they break zoom? I'm just trying to. See oh wait, it's top, top top right. There's a red magnifying lenses. Oh, there it is. Uh, oh yeah, uh, so Gracie is not in. Range. She's not in range, but it doesn't matter because if she activates, she dies. So in that case, I think that what we're gonna do is, what does five inches look like? Five inches does not get me out of Candy's aura because Candy is awful. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So what I am instead going to do is I am going to go with Ma Tucket. Okay. Uh, Ma Tucket is going to clone so she can push it to here, which puts it for double score. Okay. So Ma Tucket's going to go. She's going to kick the can back to there, mm -hmm. uh, which is far enough for it to count for two... Uh, uh, it has to be in the de deployment zone to be worth two points. Oh, it has to be in the deployment zone? I thought it just had to be eight inches from the center line. I think that is I'm thinking, actual... I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Break the line. Okay. Um, deployment zone, huh? All right, so in that case... If I push it here, then I still can't get it into the deployment zone. Okay. Not this turn, not, yeah. Not this turn. So. Yeah, corner carve is like super tough to get max points on. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, I sadly, I really don't think that Ma is going to do a whole lot else this game unfortunately mm -hmm. so we're just going to we're going to go ahead and push the strap marker to there uh and then we are going to walk to here and then we're going to push the strategy marker to here mm -hmm. to set up for a future Next turn, yeah. turn so i can actually score another point uh we're gonna delete that Oop, that's ma not deleting ma <laughs> uh we're gonna delete this marker and then ma's gonna try and create a pit trap uh which she does not get she needs a five for that i believe so she's gonna cheat <laughs> in that five tome uh which is gonna give me a good for a laugh um she is going to create it right over here and uh she's gonna draw two cards and hmm? she's going to discard two cards no you don't have to discard two cards for good for a laugh oh it's one card yeah just one just one uh and then she's i'm so used to doing it like top of the turn when i have a full hand it just yeah yeah it's like ingrained in me 
Um, All right. So I'm going to say that I'm going to spend a pass token. Okay. Thanks for that. All right. So I am going to have this bushwhacker down the bottom go. Um, mm -hmm. That bushwhacker is going to go one, two, three, four, five to right Wasn't here. Wasn't that the one that already activated? Did it? Because it kicked my strategy markers oh, up yeah, to here. Did. I just want to activate it twice. I mean, you know. Oh, oh, is that all? Okay. Yeah, no big deal. That'd be such an interesting crew design. Wouldn't it that you could sacrifice a model's activation once per game to activate another model again. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. All right, I am going to go with this bushwhacker up the top. Um, I will. All right, I think that what we will do is, well, I could do that. That's kind of terrible though. Um, chances of that happening are slim, but let me see if, the, if I think that there's really anything I can do there. Um, Chances are basically zero of that happening, so that's not going to do me any good. Um, so I th think that what we're going to do is we're going to use. Man, that would really be like trying for it. You get a handful of cards still. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so that's also terrible. Um, okay. So what we're instead going to do is we're going to go with this bushwhacker. Um, we are going to, I think it's actually like impossible for me to score four points on the strat. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be capped at three because if this goes mm -hmm. six to here, then on the next turn, the furthest I can get it is to there because I don't have anything that can double jump. So it is also turn four. So you'd need one in the deployment zone this turn to get a. Yeah, that's true. So I'm definitely capped at three. So I'm just going to let that bushwhacker see it. Um, he is going to focus and mm -hmm. he is going to shoot the aversion. All right. I have friendly fire because um, I'm engaging your bushwhacker. Oh. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So I'll just take the straight flip. Mm -hmm. I have a 15. Okay. Uh, I have a 14. Um, I will go to a 16. You will. I will not cheat. Okay. Uh, and that's going to be a straight flip. Yes, because of focus. Oh, come on, Spear. Nope, weak. Um, so that would be just one, and that's fine. You'll just take it. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, the version I'm is... try and create a pit trap, which mm -hmm. fails. Uh, I will cheat in the seven to make that pass. And we're going to put it right about there. Okay. Okay. Bushwhacker's done. Um, I think we're going to spend a pass token. Um, I'm going to you. I'm going to activate the little lass. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to that manipulative is kind of messing me up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think she's like a willpower four, which is super good for passing TN thirteen duels for the stupid aversion. Those aversions are such a pain in the ass. They're so good. They're All right. Um, I think that what we're going to have to do is just focus and try and horrible hollering on something. Um, I think it's going to have to be candy. We'll just see if I can flip high and kick her out of there. All right. Straight flip for you because of manipulate. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
can't well, beat that. that's an 18. Okay, miss, it misses. Uh, worth, she's worth a shot. Uh, pass a token, my final one. Okay, so all you have left is just candy, right? Just candy. Just candy. And um, after you go, you'll have Gracie, Bo Peep, and Bushbacker. One of those two, uh, two of those, and I did go first, so we're on activation parity. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I've got the Bushwhacker down the bottom here, and mm -hmm. Gracie, who's going to die if she activates next to Candy. So I guess we're just going to go with the Bushwhacker up on the train. Mm -hmm. Um, and we'll shoot candy, I guess. Um, okay. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm no, not, I'm, I'm in the... Do that cause you're, yeah, because you're in the shadow. I can't see you because you're height one. Um, well, that's no good. Okay, so I guess what we're going to do instead is we are going to... Um... We're just going to go with the bushwhacker. We're going to go one, two, drop down to there, three, four, five mm -hmm. to here. Yep. Um, we are going to um, I should have shot the inversion first. Okay. Actually, before I take that move uh i'm mm -hmm. just gonna shoot the aversion that has the three wounds left sure okay uh you'll be on negative for friendly uh, fire the friendly fire no that doesn't do me any good then um so instead i think that what we're gonna do is we're just going to double walk mm -hmm. up to here mm -hmm. and we're gonna create a pit trap which fails and passes Okay. Getting your leave your or load them up. Uh, Trying to. Makes sense. All right. Um, I have to go with candy. Mm -hmm. So candy is going to activate. Um, I'm going to have two inch reach. So, or not reach, but uh, we're going to go ahead and goodie basket on Gracie. Mm hmm. Um, we're going to cheat in the crow, declare okay. burnout. Yeah, so she just dies. Um, you, you heal one, and then you take two for burnout, and you take one for Andy's misery to die. Oh, because she has opportunist fast? She does. Okay, that's fine. Um, does Gracie turn into a scheme marker? Is she delicious, or is she not? She is. Okay. Uh, I guess she'll turn into a scheme marker. Okay. Um, Candy is then going to use... Um, we're going to temper tantrum. Sure. Uh, actually, no. First thing we're going to do is we're going to glimpse of insanity on... Glimpse of Insanity on Bo Peep. Okay. So this is going to be six against your willpower. I have a 12. Uh, you got it. What's your total? Six? Yeah. We'll get use out of this. We'll declare um, on your heels. So you'll gain stunned. Okay. Uh, you will take a damage from the Aversion's Misery. You're going to go um, one, two from Pandora's effect. And then I need you to take a willpower duel from the aversion for his antipathy or please. Willpower duel passes. Uh, that's a 13. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was thinking it was crazy. Um, it's an 11, so it's a fail. Okay, so I'm going to push you one, two, three, four. Okay. You go through models with trample. Candy is going to then place here. Okay. And because of um, bald, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and then 
I am going to go with self-loathing on Bo Peep. Sure. Um, stat is going to be six against your willpower. I'm going to choose your whip. Sure. And I will... Um, I'll go ahead and spend a stone for a mask. Okay. And I'll get the mask. You sure do. So 19. Okay. Do it up. I'm a, uh, what's your total? It's willpower, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at a 12. 12 to 18. I'm sorry, 12 to 19 is going to be a straight flip. Mm -hmm. Declare hopelessness. You will suffer plus one damage because you're stuck. Sure. Uh, because you are below... What is it? Uh, half its max health or below. You are not below half your max. I don't get the plus one. That'll be weak. Um, I'll go ahead and cheat in and do moderate. No, moderate's the same. same. What am I doing? Yeah, you have to do severe to do extra. Uh, that'll be three damage. Okay. And that is going to be candy done. That's going to be me done. So all I have left is Bo Peep because the Bushwhacker already activated. Um, you don't have to discard a card. It's true. And I don't have to gain stunned. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are. I can't unless you flub. So I can't reckless, and unless you, even if you completely flub it, and I go six, I can't kick one of your cans back. Um, yep. And then your public demo models are the sorrow, which is dead, and both of the aversions, which are still alive. And then yep. to score your end game point, you only have to have one of them engaging a more expensive master or henchman model, right? So the one that's stuck on Big Brain Brin is pr probably going to stay probably stuck stay. there, right? Right, right. Um, okay. So I think that what we're going to do is we are going to go with Bo Peep. Uh, yeah. Start stuff doesn't really do anything. Um, can't declare any triggers. Could I do that? Might be able to do that. Yeah, that wouldn't actually do anything, though. Okay, so I think that what we're going to do is... I don't even know what your second scheme is. All right, what are the possibilities? Could You would have declared Vendetta already unless you had candy. Well, you can't do candy on Bo Peep, so I don't think that it's Vendetta. Let's not load them up. You would have declared Assassinate already unless you were just waiting to do it this turn. Um, oh, that would be a fun thing to do. Yeah, it would. Um, and then you, I would say you probably have in your face, and then you're trying to get candy into the deployment zone, which you would score in your face this turn. So there's nothing that I can do about that because you just killed an eight stone or more expensive model next to Pandora. Um, okay. Okay. So in that case, I guess the move is I'm just going to try and disengage with Bo Peep. I'm not engaging you. Oh, you don't have an engagement. Correct. Oh, all right. Um, well, I guess that what we're going to do in that case is we're just going to charge Pandora. Okay. Please take antipathy. Sorry. Fucking, 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 fucking. <laughs> um, yeah, there's definitely no way. That's the closest that I can cut it, and I'm not out of engagement there, so that doesn't do me a dang bit of good. All right. Um, well, I guess I can just pound away on Pandora, or on uh, Candy. Let me just check something real quick. Um, 
Yeah, but then she's only taken one damage because she's got the unimpressed thing, so that doesn't actually do me any good either. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, well, I guess we're just going to hope the stars align. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And all right. we're going to see if I pass the antipathy, needing a nine. I do. You do. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to swing on Pandora. This is going to be okay. stat six. I am at a not that. Okay. I'm at an 18. Uh, I will cheat with the top card in my fate deck. Um, I'll go to a 16. Okay. So I'm still going to hit negative flip. Yep. Uh, week for two. I will take two. Okay. And then this is the part where I swing a second time and miss, and then you just heal back the two that I just dealt. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this swing on the aversion, which is what I should have done in the first place because I didn't realize that I was engaging it. So we're going to swing on the aversion. Yeah. Aversion has a 17. Good thing I didn't swing on Pandora. Okay. That is true. Um, she's done, and her stun goes away. It does. And that's turn. That is turn. Um, so I am going to reveal in your face. Yep. Um, and I will not score strategy. You will not score strategy. Do you reveal any schemes? Uh, nope. Okay. Going into turn five. Um, turn five. I'm going to pitch that card, keep two, and I'm going to run to the little never. Sure. Yeah, I'll, uh. Do the same. And do you need to get that dog food? Um, I don't think it's actually here yet. They just said that they were shopping, but I didn't get the notification that they dropped it off. So I'm going to check outside just in case. Okay. or the public demo. Shuffle, shuffle. Just hoping I get a hot hand. What? I am back. I literally just walked outside to look and see if the dog food was here, and I hadn't gotten a text yet to say it was delivered. And as you sat back down, it said that your order was delivered. So somebody must <laughs> be real sneaky because. They didn't even make the dogs bark or anything if they actually dropped it off. So, hold on. Yeah, no worries. because I definitely did not get anything. Mm. Left your order in a safe location. Let me look at the picture that Tom, my dasher, took. Uh, He definitely left it at the wrong house. So I'm going to walk down the street, which will take me like five minutes, 
uh, right. grab it and then walk back. Hold on. All right. See you soon. All right, dog food is safe and sound and not completely soaked. So let's see what kind of hands we get, shall we? Oh, Jim's not back. That's all right. I'll draw my hand anyway. Oops. Sorry, I am back. I just had neglected to unmute myself. Draw seven big cards. All right. All, all right. right. I have no stones. I think I will elect two stone. Okay. One, two. Okay. And we will pitch this, and we will pitch this. Okay. And you're flipping at plus... Plus two. Two, and I'm flipping at plus one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, a two. I have a three. Be a three. Um, so effectively a five to effectively a three. Yes. Um, I will cheat in this three ram that'll put you to a four yep i'll still be at a five but you'll get the ram trigger for pass tokens right correct you know what i am not going to cheat okay so and then that i have lost a model so i'm at seven six, seven and i have one two three four five so i have two pass tokens Okay. So I think what makes the most sense to me mm -hmm. is I'm going to start with Pandora. Sure. And we're going to try and um, get some activation control here. Okay. I think our first trick is going to be to attempt to pull up a card. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to weight of despair the little less. Sure. Stat six on your willpower. Okay. Seventeen, evidently. All right. Um, I'll cheat from the top of my deck with. Um, aspect of fortune. Sure. Uh, that'll fail. Okay. I'll do some. Uh, I do cheat. Chance scamper. Scampering. 
Um, Bushwhacker's going to scamper to there. Uh, you'll take a um, aversion test. Aversion test, yep. Uh, fails. That's fine. You can do your worst. Push me into ter- push me into a terrible spot. Okay. We'll push you there. Um, little lass will push to here. Mm-hmm. And okay, uh, Pandora will try again. Uh, this time she's going to target Bo Peep. Okay. This is that uh, again six against your willpower. Mm-hmm. I have a thirteen. Okay, I have a 14. I will go to a 16. Go to a 16. So what's this going to do? It's going to do 1, 3, 4 damage and give you stunned. So it is going to kill you. Yeah, so it's going to kill me no matter what. 1, 3, 4 and stunned. Um, And you went to a 16, you said? Did. Okay. Um, I think that activation control is probably the thing that keeps this from being a draw so you're not i mean you could theoretically score carve because dorian could kick one down to the other aversion the aversion could kick it over to candy candy could kick it and then she could walk in for um for in your face so and there's not a whole lot that i could do to stop that um okay um meow. i guess i'm just gonna have to let that go it's just the way it okay. is okay uh 16 to 14 is a negative twist and that'll be one damage, and then damage misery, which is stunned, and then that's going to kill me. So I'll just kill the model. Uh, model kill corpse. And then Pandora has one more action. Mm-hmm. And I will have used the aversion's misery for that. Sure. This aversion, excuse me. Sure. I will use my last regular action to try and... Um, Stun the little lass again. Okay. So stat six on little lass's willpower. I got a black joker that time. So you hey. Stun for sure. I'm at a 10 to your... Uh, whatever it is. Four. Four. So I want to go to a 10. Oh, so I'm at a 10. Yep. So I'm on a treatable damage flip. Yep. Uh, so here's the damage flip. Um, I will go ahead and put in moderate so that the misery ping will kill you. Okay. And then I will do compounding emotions. Um, uh, that is also a cheat. So if you want to move that bushwhacker, um, feel free. Compounding emotions is what? Six inch pulse to swap conditions around? It is. I, I don't have any conditions I can swap. Yeah. Um, but it's more I achieved it within six. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here we go. Um, it goes off. However, I am going to cheat in the six of masks and declare toxic family to heal friendly woes within range two to heal that aversion, but for two. Okay. Uh, it is a pulse, so I don't heal myself. It doesn't affect me. So Pandora is done. She draws a card for Nefarious. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Um, I will... Let's see here. I will go with Ma Tucket. Mm-hmm. Uh, she will... One, two, three, four, five. Not outside of the game field. Um, she will kick this marker into your deployment zone somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, she will create a pit trap and use her focus. And Makes sense. And she's going to get a 10, which is going to put a pit trap right here. And let me just take a quick look at the end of game. Um, 
Um, yeah, so anyway, she's going to go over there. Uh, she is going to do the good for a laugh, so I'm going to draw two, and I'm going to discard one, and she used her focus, and there's really not much else that she can do, so she's actually going to walk one, two, three, four, five, to pretty much right there, mm -hmm. and she's done. I don't see a world where I don't, you don't get at least one point. Yeah, I mean, it's just a basically good. future proofing in case you do manage to yeah. pick up enough, which I don't think you will, but. But it's always good to make that effort. Um, we're gonna go Dorian Crow. Sure. And Dorian Crow is going, whoa, not that range, that range. He's going to use Ennui. Needing sure. a four. That is not a four. So I'll go ahead and put that in for it to be a four. So all friendly woes in range that are unengaged can move up to two. Mm -hmm. One, two. I'm going to move this one. One, two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move Pandora. I don't know. One, two. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. And Dorian will go one, two. Mm -hmm. He's going to take an action to kick this mark down to this friend. Mm -hmm. And then uh, best practices says I will kick this mark as well. Because there is a world where you can send someone in to kick it back over and then I denies me a strap point right. right and that is going to be dorian done okay um that bushwhacker is going to go um the one in the middle there mm -hmm. um it is going to hmm I think the only thing I can really do is this. Uh, it is going to focus, and it is mm -hmm. going to shoot the aversion. Um, mm -hmm. So it's going to be on a straight flip. Because yep. of concealment. Okay. Yeah. I got a 17. 17 with crit strike, and I have a 15. Go ahead. Okay. Um, negative flip goes back to a straight. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a weak... I will cheat in that for six, which should pop. That him. will that will pop him. Okay, and then I'm going to create a pit trap, uh, which does not go off. I'm going to cheat that in to make it go off, and we're going to create one right back here. And All he's right. Done. And how do I? I get an easy point for candy going in. I don't think there's a thing that I can do to stop that because you killed both Lass and Bo Peep. So I'm pretty sure yeah. that there's no no universe that I can deny that point. Uh, you'll get a third point on strategy. Yep. Um, so I guess the question becomes, if I want to get a second point on a third point on strategy and tie you there, I would have to have Candy move, kick a mark, and then get pushed into the deployment zone by the. But then you which still, means that, right? But then you, um, I don't think you get the. Well, I don't know that I get um, yeah, the. I don't think you get the public don't, demo anyway. Right, because Bryn can just we can just wait him out and then disengage and then, right, right, you know, call it. So I think what we're going to do though is I'm going to spend a pass token and force okay. you to spend pass tokens if you want to. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, 
Yeah. Oops, wrong way. I'll use pass token. There's I'll use pass token. token. Okay. I'll use pass token. All right. So yeah, I will go ahead and have Candy go to be ever so slightly there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because a version can walk in be that, and so either way, Candy's getting the AVP. I'm going to do this, kill your pit trap, mm -hmm. and then you know, she'll have ended ever so slightly there. Mm. Yep. And she's going to try and stun Big Brain Bryn. Ooh, and I'll spend my last stone on this. For a positive, right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I have a six. Okay. I'm at a 12. I will go to a 14. 14. Um, I will go to a 16. I will miss. Candy's done. Okay. And I don't have anything in range to scamper. So all you have left is the aversion, right? That is correct. Um, the bushwhacker down the bottom is going to activate. Um, mm -hmm. It is going to attempt to make a pit trap. It's going to go off. Uh, it's going to make it back here-ish. Mm -hmm. Pit traps for days. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So at this point, I don't think there's anything you can do to stop that point. Mm -hmm. um, that bushwhacker is going to shoot Pandora. Okay. I have a nine. Okay. I also have a nine. I will cheat from the top card in my deck. Sure. I go to a 15. Go to a 15. Um, <clears throat> that doesn't do anything. Uh, okay. I'll go to a 19. You do. A ram. Sure. Okay, so that's going to be a negative flip. Mm hmm Right. Okay. Uh, week three. She takes three. Yep. Very nicely done on the assassinate. She has 12 wounds taught. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, no. I, make, I, I, I suddenly had a thought like, oh, crap, is she a 10 wound master? No, she's not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then I will indeed not shoot her again because that would be foolish. Um, <laughs> the, what does 14 inch range look like? Or a 14 is not enough to really hit anything else significant. So mm -hmm. I think that what he does is I could just take up hot shot at a negative no i can't even see dorian because the bush oh no i can see dorian i think yeah because i'm taller than the pot the bush yeah, you have concealment but... i can take a pot shot at him on that ne on negative uh it won't mm -hmm. do any harm if i miss so i'll just do that why not right yeah hey uh that's a miss uh so we'll go with the aversion yep and i think what the aversion is going to do is it's going to scare yep Pushing Bryn, one, two, three. We're going to walk. One, two, three. To basically be here. Yep. Um, and then we're going to scare Candy. Yeah. Trying and we do. And she's going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to draw a card for Nefarious Pact, and the board is yours. Okay. Um... I will. Oh, wait, I guess technically you have to take a test after the push. Uh, sure. With Bryn, eh, it doesn't matter, but it burns the 13 out of your. Yes. Um, excuse me for just a sec. My dog needs to go out. Yep. She went outside like she had to go to the bathroom and walked down the steps and then walked back up the steps and just looked at me through the through the door. I'm like, um, okay, <laughs> right. Um, all right. 
so I don't think that there is a thing that I can do aside from just try and deny the point mm -hmm. uh, because candy is on top of that marker. So I can't even try for a sober up with a daze to push her off mm -hmm. and back out of the deployment zone. Uh, the, I still have that bushwhacker up there, but he's not going to be able to get in range. I don't think to potentially shoot her. And literally the only thing that I can do at this point is just try to deny. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, that's the best that I can get. Then that puts me in the aversion zone. I still can't see candy, so it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably out of range still. So I can't, I have to deal with friendly fire if I shoot the aversion and That's kind of the best that I can do. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, mm -hmm. That bushwhacker is going to stay put. Uh, it is going to, uh, it's gonna shoot the, it's gonna focus and then it's gonna shoot the aversion that's engaging Bryn. Sounds good. So straight flip. I have a 16. That plan failed, so it's just going to try and create a pit trap, which it does not do, but I don't need anyway, so that's fine. It's done, uh, and then you're out of activations, right? I am. Okay, so it's just Bryn, so all I can really do is attempt to disengage to deny that last point, and then YOLO on Candy. So we are going to attempt to disengage. I will attempt to keep you here. Oh, I got an intuition. Oops. Oh, yeah. That's all Oops. right. Well, I'll just look at the next two. How about that? <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, that's fine. Because um, that tells me whether or not my plan's going to work anyway, which is not going to work. So, um, oh, work. wait. Doesn't matter. I'm um, at a 17 because there's serene count. Okay. Um, I'm at an 18. Yep, I do not keep you. Okay. Um, I will push. One, yeah, which direction do you push? Two, three, four, five. Right there, I guess. All right. Um, still can't see her, but I already know what's coming. So I know that I can't get the days and I don't have any stones left. So that doesn't work. Um, pushing that marker won't do anything. So just out of spite, I will... Well, you can't push because you disengaged. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can't push because I disengaged. So I can literally do nothing of consequence. So I am just going to say I'm done. No reason okay. to calculate just for the hell of it. So that should be game. Um, that's game. That's going to give me a second carve a path point. You're going to get, or, sorry, we're both going to get third carve a paths. Uh, I am going to reveal assassinate and I'm going to reveal load them up. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to put me at five. Uh, yeah. You are going to get in your face second point. Get, so that's going to put you second. at five. Uh, that's going to put me six. at six. Six. Yep. Yeah. So six. Five. You got yeah, it. Yeah. Very close game. Yeah. It was good. It's amazing how not, how like playing a master for a bazillion years and then taking like easily over a year or more off of her makes you a little rusty. So I definitely made some mistakes in deployment and first turn, but I, you know, kind of picked things back up afterwards. So I think you adapted. I think it you, was pretty good. You rolled with the landing. Um, yeah. But um, did you want to do any debrief about it? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, for sure. So um, yeah. So first game against Tyrant Torn, uh, I would just mm -hmm. say, um, I never played against her in her pre errata state, but obviously, you know, she had some pretty unhealthy stuff that she could do. Um, she mm. seems I don't know, pretty good right now. Um, your crew, you know, when you declared Pandora, I don't know what was coming in, what came into my mind that I thought that like the Bushwhacker pit trap build was going to work. I just apparently forgot that you had a bazillion incorporeal models, so it wasn't really going to do anything. Plus, it's carved, so we were going to be able to pick them up. Really, what mm -hmm. I should have done is um, I probably still would have stuck with Ma 1. I don't think I would have taken uh, Ma 2 because uh, you have a lot of ping damage and you would just be able to kind of melt through armor models yeah. that I have. So I think Ma 1 was the right choice. 
Um, I think that what I really should have done is I should have taken Trixie um, because the Gremlin lore to push things like candy uh, out of position uh, before my models activate can definitely be pretty good. Plus, it would have given me the extra ill omens to say, stay in parity with you mm -hmm. for the initiative flip. Um, granted, it would have given you another henchman that you could score um, public demo with, but, you know. Yeah, I. but I think it's not a bad call. Um, yeah. I will say, uh, with corner and with load em up, mm -hmm. with, with your placement of pit traps, I would have... What I've done in the past with Ma is I'll just go ahead and put them all like Yeah. Exactly an inch away from each other. Yeah. Yeah. If I I have not found when you put something so far out of the way that people are willing to spend all the extra actions to move strap yeah. markers down the edge. And then all I have to do is basically do, you know, drop two pit traps and then that scores exactly. the first point pretty handily on turn two. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, I have plenty of time to set up the end game point at the end of the game. So that's really what I should have done, especially in this particular game, if I were going to do that. So, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing is Pandora's. You had Pandora one on the mind I with did. the match. Yes. And I think she does bring more of a. I don't know what your past experience with Pandora has one has been, mm -hmm. but I know that at least right now, the hot discussion topics that I'm seeing in Neverborn are like, everyone's in love with bringing the puppet package. Mm -hmm. So Vasilisa Hinamatsu and a couple of Wicked Dolls because of the staggered synergies yeah. and armor and all that jazz, and they hate pit traps. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that build would have gotten eaten alive by this crew. Um, I took the, the woes because um, with this board... I wanted to cut down on your firing lanes if you did go gun heavy because Ma has so many 14 inch guns, it's absurd. Yeah. And that was like, this was really good for me. Building yeah. Definitely. For that. Because, I mean, as soon as I stuck my head out, I mean, we, the viewer saw you were like, Bushwhacker, I'm just going to pick up a model. I'm going to pick up another. Yeah. I mean, that's what they're good for. You know, I mean, the question exactly. really becomes do I take the. Um, you know, do I take Bushwhackers or do I take Rooster Riders? Um, I think that Bushwhackers are still probably the right pick in this because the stealth mm -hmm. uh, definitely does help. Um, 100%. In this crew, it definitely helps. And the willpower four on the Roosters is uh, a big problem into Pandora. Now, I could have had basically two Roosters run markers down the flanks and get them into your deployment zone incredibly fast and then, you know, turn around and start shooting with the 14 inch guns instead to lock in the strap points. Um, mm -hmm. But then I wouldn't have had, had as easy a time, um, you know, picking off like the sorrows and stuff before they activated. So yeah. I, I think that this probably still worked out for the better. Um, the other thing, I'd about agree. Their, you know, the other thing about the rooster riders is, you know, they have the 14 inch gun, but they also don't have crit strike. And the only reason I was able to pick up those models is because I drew into and, and, you know, did enough card cycling and card draw with Ma mm -hmm. to get the high enough Ram to hit and then an extra severe to pitch for damage. Mm -hmm. So the Rooster Riders would not have enabled me to to do that. No, I, I think you're I mean, I play a similar build. I, I mean, you saw me at Captain Con. I was running a very similar thing to this. Mm -hmm. I, I really think Bushwhackers are a phenomenal minion. Oh, they're incredible. They're, yeah. They are what a they're they're like what a six stone minion should be for a yeah. flavorful, good at their job, but not busted. Oz uh, really fortunate in that she has. I, I mean, I know some people are down on rooster riders. I don't know why. I think they're amazing. She's the only crew. <laughs> she's the only keyword that I know of in probably the whole game that has three, four different minions, all of which with different crew builds I would consider maxing out. I, I have taken mm -hmm. three roosters. I've taken three bushwhackers. I've taken three test subjects. I've taken three survivors. Like it, they're all great for, you know, depends they on are. what you need out of the game. So, yeah, no, I've, I've recently pr finished painting my survivors. So now I have all of, I need to paint ruffles. Ruffles is my only Trixie not painted. Yeah. I couldn't take survivors but, into this match though, because they're min one. So 
I apparently Min one, remembered incorporeal, you know, <laughs> for, that. <laughs> for that, but not for the rest of the stuff. Well, um, the other problem with them is they they like that scrap marker generation, right, which also does and zero with, because of the way with, that the timing works, right? Because that and with pros, with the poltergeist, yeah. that's feeding me to do some ludicrous telekinesis. Um, yeah, yeah. TK is a, a it's a move twelve door take three damage. Uh, for a whole mess of people. Yeah. And that just seems rude. Um, yep. So, yeah, I think in retrospect, um, you know, I, I took inferiority complex because if you played Pandora one, I had to have it. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't like, it would be very difficult for me to swap. I see for, especially on Ma for a 12 cups. Now 12 cups is like always good against Pandora. So it's really tough. I might've been better off picking, a better tank model because Gracie was stunned and staggered is basically useless. I mean, she's, mm -hmm. she just doesn't do anything. So I may have been better off taking a more durable center of board model instead of Gracie and then putting 12 cups on it to mm -hmm. um, block all those nasty bonus actions. Um, yeah. I think she was but... probably, she, I think Gracie was probably like the waste of points this game. Um, probably. Yeah. She really didn't do much of anything. And then, mm -hmm. I mean, I think Bo Peep did fine. She, you know, I did some mispositioning, but because of how fast she is, she helped me kind of recover from that. Mm -hmm. um, I could have used her a little bit better, but I mean, I do feel like she she probably would would stick around. So the question yeah. basically is, do I swap out Bo Peep and take Trixie Veil vale instead, which or may have been better, and then swap out Gracie for something that was going to be a little bit tougher in the middle? Um, issue then is that I end up running into a cash problem because it, it, anything more durable than Gracie in this particular matchup is going to be an out of keyword model that costs nine stones. So I'm going to be spending 10 stones plus two stones for an upgrade. Uh, and then I'm at three cash, which is, I mean, Ma can do it, but it's not great. She's not a fan. Yeah. She's not a fan. Um, the other thing that I could have done is uh, mm, this might've been actually a little bit better. I could have taken a soul stone miner and used the Bryn trick to make it, um, bury and unbury turn one if I needed to and just put it so far back in corner deployment that it would have taken you a lot of effort to get to and deal with it even with the willpower three and I would have had a model in the backfield that was positioned to uh, kick strategy markers in subsequent turns and then also generate some extra soul stones I don't so, hate that yeah um, I, don't hate that. I really can't deal with a spread out crew as well yeah, yeah. Um, I mean you saw like the bushwhackers all all of your bushwhackers live to the end of the game. Yeah. Because I I really could only handle this stuff coming. I really only killed turn four and five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which, you know, if you think taking models off the board is your primary goal, that's a pretty terrible yeah. performance. Um, but I think this version of Pandora is just much better at. Yeah. Just I mean, there's just such a good control rather. game. Yeah, you don't really need to. I mean, between, yeah, it just, you just lock down models and mm -hmm. make it difficult for me to really do anything. So you don't really need to kill. You can just rely on the eventual ping damage to bring me down because there really weren't even, you didn't even land any big hits at all the whole game. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't even, you don't really have a crew that's set up to do that. You just kind of slowly mm -hmm. ground the models down between, you know, the misery, miseries and the hazardous auras and the life leech auras and, you know, Right. Just that and the other. And I do want one thing I I've been thinking about for GG3 lately is this is a crew that does not have a interact move interact model on carve a path. And I still got three points. Yeah. It's really got me reevaluating how hard I need to skew my lists for that kind of model. Yeah. Um, I mean, we both scored three points on it, and neither of us had a interact move interact model. Right, right. Um, and this is corner, which is probably just about the most difficult one to score three points yeah. on. Um, there's a lot of stuff that co that factors into that equation, but I do I, I think you're probably right that it doesn't mean that you have to take you know a list with two or three Silverwood style models or, or you know what and have I, you. I thought about it. I mean, I, I I'm taking Neverborn because I've got. Nakima build that's I'm just waiting on those new cavern Nephilim to get in. Yeah. I've got this and I've got Zoraida mm -hmm. and 
Well, that's a pretty good trio of masters to cover a lot of bases. Yeah, yeah. But I, with Gaining Grounds 3 being what it is, I was wondering if I could make this work, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, um, other than that, uh, so you're st- you're feeling back on the Bayou train for Nova? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do Bayou for Nova, and I'm going to do Thunders for the Houston GT. That's mm-hmm. my plan. Nice. Now, here's the big question for you. Mm-hmm. Have you traveled for tournaments before? Never. This is literally going to be the first time I've traveled at all for tournaments. What is your... Um, packaging solution for carrying your models from point a to point b so that's part of the reason that i'm doing it the way that i am because there's so many days of malifo at nova i really want to have as much of my kit available as i can um mm-hmm. i have a very very large um army transport um case that i can carry the entire bayou faction in um nice. and i'm taking the train so mm-hmm. I don't have to worry about it. Like I can just basically keep it in the same train car as me. Um, I don't have to worry about getting about it getting smashed or bashed or, or anything like that. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't mind taking it, even though it's not quite as durable. Um, and then when I go to the Houston GT, I am going to significantly trim down the number of models that I take. And I have um, some old like hard sided plastic GW cases. Um, that should mm-hmm. be very secure for me to take as my uh, personal item. I can stick it under the seat, and I'll just, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the plan. That was my experience going to Captain Con was trying to figure out what I could bring. Yeah, and you know, for I guess for anyone still paying attention or watching, if we're still <laughs> recording, I don't know. Um, we are recording. Like, yep. Uh, a, you should sign up for the Houston GT and for the Nova yes. Open. Yes. Um, if you sign up, what is it by August 31st, you get a custom deck custom at deck the, Houston, the Houston GT, yep. which looks pretty dope. Um, yep. the, for the Nova open, it's just going to be a, a whole weekend of gaming. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to be going me, Doug and Brandon, um, are all going to be repping the Northeast at the master's event. And, um, I'm pretty sure that we're all planning on doing the open as well. So four days of jam, jam packed with Malifo. My brain's going to be mushed by the end of it, but yeah, should be fun. It was so last year was so good, but so yes, mush is the word. Actually, I lied. This will not be the first time that I've ever traveled somewhere for a mm. tournament. I went to New Jersey two years in a row for the Total Foe League or TFL finals, but we drove, so model transport was a non-issue. Yeah, yeah, that's. That's not bad. Yeah, DC yeah, is that... just a little bit too far for me to say that I want to drive, especially the day like no. coming back. Like I don't want to waste a whole day driving and being exhausted. So it's um it's it's faster to take the train and I don't have to worry about the logistics of transporting models like I would if I flew. So Yeah. yeah. No, that's Yep, should be good. All cool. right. Well, well that's all thank I you got. for the game. Yeah, thanks for the game, Jim. And um yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting as many reps in as I can before Nova, just so I can kind of shake the rust off of a couple of my core Bayou crews. And then I, it's a matter of how many reps I can squeeze in with Angler to see if I can fit them into my stable, um, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do. We shall see. I get the feeling All there's right. going to be a lot of uh, turn one unpack practicing in my basement with a couple of crews just to make sure that I'm still fresh. <laughs> That's, it's always good. To do. Yeah, indeed. All right, cool. Well, thanks again. And thanks for watching for anybody that stuck around. Uh, have a great day, Jim. Bye-bye.